Welcome to the SKO Radio Network. You can find us online at skoradio.com. We're also on the TuneIn app where you can listen with your mobile devices on the Google Play and Apple Store. Find us on social media at facebook.com forward slash SKO Radio Network. You're tuned to the SKO Radio Network and online at skoradio.com. This SKO Radio Network program is rated unleashed and is intended for mature audiences only. The views and opinions expressed on the SKO Radio Network are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other hosts or advertisers. The shows found on the SKO Radio Network can promote any lifestyle, belief, religion, political affiliation, or other personal practice. These shows are for entertainment purposes only and are not intended to treat, diagnose, and or claim any cure of disease or condition. From the Rising Star Studio at the SKO Radio Network, it's time for Some Kind of Radio Show with Earl McCune and the Crazy Crew. The call-in lines are open at 234-200-5110. That's 234-200-5110. Five one one zero, and now here's Earl McCune and the Crazy Crew. It's time for the Family Feud. Introducing the Mosley family: Wayne, Shirley, Melissa, Bridget, and Chris. Ready for action! And the Abramowitz family. Hilda, Karen, Ken, Barbara, and Shirley, on your mark, let's start the Family Feud. With the star of Family Feud, Richard Dawson. I haven't felt that excited since I got the oil drilling rights to Jack Lord's hair. Thank you. <laughs> we have got a marvelous show for you, and I just want you to enjoy it. We have two families going to come out, battle each other, and try and win a lot of money, and a lot of money can be won. So will you join me, please, and welcome the very first family, the Mosley family. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. How are you, man? Nice to see you. Okay, nice. Our first show here. What do you do for a living, Way? Richard, I have a business in Napa, California, and I manufacture hardwood wine gift boxes that you'll see in your local store around oh. Christmas time. Did you bring any with you? No. <laughs> Nothing? <laughs> Flat. What is this, a dry game show? You've been brought up. Nice to see you, and wish you a lot of luck. Who's this pretty lady? Thank you. This is my beautiful bride, Shirley. Nice to see you, Shirley. Hi, my, nice you look so pretty. You. Thank you very much. I went fishing with something yes. like this. <laughs> How long have you been married? 28 years last Monday. Wow. A child bride. A child bride. Okay. Who's pretty Melissa? This is my daughter, Melissa. Melissa uh, is your daughter? I think uh, I'm in love. How are you? Nice to meet you. Are you engaged or married? I'm you go a to baker. college? Or? You're what? A baker. Oh, what, do you, what sort of things you do? I bake all kinds of cookies. <laughs> I'm a cookie monster. <laughs> I'll come up and see you. You okay. can cook me some cookies. Now, who is Chris? Chris is my cousin. Nice to see you, Chris. Nice how are you? you. Are you a what, a schoolboy? Yeah, and I'm working in a fabric store. Yeah? Yeah. Well, you've got some very nice stuff there. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let the boss see you have that now. Okay, Mosley, I hope you're ready, because you're going to be challenged for the title of yeah. winning family by the Abramowitz family. <laughs> Nice to see you. What a big smile. Lovely Hilda. You're the head of the family here. Yes, I'm the matriarch of this family. Oh, yeah. Where are you from, darling? Where do you live? North Hollywood. Oh, so you didn't have far to come. No, not too far. Oh, just jumped on Karen's back and came over. <laughs> Who is Karen? Karen is my younger daughter. Oh, she's very pretty. It's nice to see you. Are you a married lady? Yes, I am. Very well married. <laughs> Three right. children. Three children? Jonathan, Andrea, and Jason. Am I allowed to say that? No. <laughs> That's all right. But are you married to this yeah, gentleman? This is my husband, Ken. How are you, Ken? Thank you. Nice Very to well. see you. Nice to see I you, too. I can feel that you're healthy here. <laughs> hey, what do you do for a living? I am a life insurance salesman, million-dollar club. 
and uh, I... Um, Love a parade. <laughs> of course, Barbara. Now, who's Barbara? Who is Barbara? What, what? Barbara is my sister-in-law. Okay. Barbara, you're a delight. It's nice to see you. Thank you. Nice Barbara you. written around your neck there. So you don't forget. Yeah. <laughs> of course, it's not gold. Your neck's turning green. <laughs> you're very pretty. Now, who's lovely Shirley? She's my aunt. Yeah? Well, Shirley, I think I'm in love. Thank you. We might have to run away whether you win or not. And my husband will be the chauffeur. <laughs> <laughs> I'll withdraw the offer. I don't want to get into this. our opening show. Wish both families the best of luck. Heads of families, join me. Okay. 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 It's time to play. Drink the beer! That's right. I'm Dylan Thompson. I'm going to be your host today for Drink the Beer here on SKO Radio Network with the Some Kind of Radio Show. Drink the beer! This is Drink the Beer here on SKO Radio Network. And uh, we've got a great one here for you today, folks. We've got straight out of Boston, Massachusetts, it is the Sam Adams Chocolate box. That's right. We are starting off the show tonight. We're going right into it full force with a brew review. We have Facebook Live going. Straight out of Boston. Straight out of Boston. 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 Oh, uh, Title Town. Now this is a uh, this is a chocolate box. It's a beer with cocoa and natural flavors. Boston. Uh, Boston. Five point eight alcohol by volume. Eleven IBUs. So if you're interested in the IBUs, it's, it's eleven. Boston. What is an IBU? He's got it from the car. See a darkness of the beer. So oh. it's like a 1 to 15. The higher it is, the darker it is. So, uh, But anyways, other than that, we're not really giving that much information. Bastion. Other it's than it's Bastion. good. I'm going to hit you. I'm going to hit you. Where's it from? rich and dark. God, God, it's been eight minutes. I already want to just beat the fuck out of you. Bastard. I'm going uh, to beat you. Yeah. All right, everyone. I'm not whipping it out right here. As everyone grab a host are you? It's smooth and rich. I and already dark. read that. It's beer with cocoa and natural flavor. I already read What's that. What's the natural really flavor? Did. Bastard. You're about to find Is out. Is it the Boston flavor? Hey, can I see? Yeah. You got a bottle. Did we get it from the car? From the Hatta Yard? Bastard. You ever heard Boston girl have an orgasm? No. Uh, I, I have, and it's not it's a good not, thing. It's, it's not good. Have it's, you? Have you actually? Yeah, from, from what I heard. She uh, fakes it. Yeah, she fakes it. That's what I've heard. Well, well when, when you go down, does it taste like clam chowder? No, it's more like cottage cheese. <laughs> All right, so, uh, so your glass, that's why you're I don't go down. Is, uh, your glass is by my foot. Okay. Oh, great. I got, you're, I got like, foot disease yeah. funk here going. You yeah. probably do. All right. All right. Everyone We're, go ahead and uh, give them a sniff first. All right. Smells, smells like, like, like cream cheese. Smells like, no, it smells chocolatey. Yeah, it smells chocolatey. Smells like chocolatey. Right. Like We're chocolatey. starting off the All show. Right. So uh, we'll go ahead and, uh, you Let's know, sti- however many sips you want. There's no rules. Oh. That's pleasant. Yes. Very pleasant. Very oh, pleasant. It's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Let me it's turn pleasant. it down a little bit more. I'll turn it down a little bit more. It's pleasant. It's pleasant. Yes, it's very pleasant. Yeah. Yeah. Pleasant. Pleasant. Uh, it's, uh, let, let's go around the horn here and let's, right, let's start well, a review process. I, I'm hosting this. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> Dylan. I apologize. Forgive us. I'm hosting this. Forgive me. Take it away, Dylan. Show me Fairfax, New Jersey. Bastin. Bastin. All right, we'll start. Uh, we'll start with Mike here. Mike, what do you think? Now, now we'll start by Mike. Where are you from? <laughs> I'm not telling. And uh, have you ever have you ever drank this have you ever drank this beer before? Why would no, you tell? I do not. No. Okay. All yeah. right. Mike has never drank this beer before. Mike, what's your score? Now, all beers, courtesy of uh, Physics Way Tap. Yes. Yes. We yes. have we have drafterized all of them, so We're these scores may have that so these scores may be uh, skewed a little bit to reflect. Bastin. I'm gonna beat it's you. A good beer. I am literally gonna hit you in the face. Shut up. What what team just won the World Series? I'm gonna hit the you Bastin. in the face next. Red Sox. Bastin. 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 All right, Mike. Bastin. It's a good beer. It's nice and smooth. Yeah. 
It's kind nice of chocolatey. Sweet. Yeah. But that's what it's it's actually advertised as a chocolate. Well, yeah, beer. I mean it's meant to be. It's, I mean it's chocolate bock. Smooth, rich, and dark. I'm gonna give kind it kind of like my stool most of the eight, time. <laughs> eight point four. All right. Eight point four. Exactly right. I would. Oh, that's high. That's a I high would, score. But I would enjoy this, you know, all night. Yeah, you'd enjoy it all night, all night long. long. And then in the morning again, hair of the dog. Hair of the dog. Uh, Liz, Liz, you can rally. I have to give this one a 6.8. It's smooth. It's chocolatey. I like it, but I don't love it. Okay. Okay, 6.8. All right. All right. Yeah, sure. Well, have you have you had it before today? No, I have not. All right. Okay. Earl, uh, I'll answer your question. Yes, I have had this before today. Now, this is the first time I've had it in the 2018 vintage, oh, sure. I might add. But I've had this Peter. beer. I've had, I've had this beer in years past. Hello, John. We had it last year. Yeah, we had it last year. Oh, um, we enjoyed it last from year. From year to year, I mean, it does okay. change subtly. I mean, it, it's a different it's a different batch because this is a seasonal beverage from yeah. Sam Adams. Good. Um, it's a chocolate box, smooth, and um, it, it is smooth. Very chocolatey, and I, I like it. It is exactly what it's advertised. Um, I would drink this again. You know, I, I, would, be, I would definitely go out and buy it. Um, I'm going to be... I'm gonna go seven point two. Seven point two. So yes. we have an eight six, six eight four. Eight four. Eight four. Eight, four. A six eight. Mm-hmm. And a seven two. Yep. All right. We're all we're kind of all over the place. Kind of all over the place. I wonder here. where you're at, Dilly. And where are you at, Dilly Dilly? Dilly. And the Rising Star Studios and SKO Radio Network. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come right. on, Dilly. Now, Dilly, where are you from? Don't be so. I am from. Uh, you never asked me where I'm from. Well, I didn't ask Liz where yeah, she was he from didn't, either. He care. Yeah, what the hell? You didn't ask Liz where she's from. Well, you asked me Mike where I'm didn't from? want to answer, so I figured we well, would just. How did you know the rest of us wouldn't want to answer? I thought you were asking because you <laughs> wanted to know personally. Because you know we are doing game oh. show tonight. We're scared of identity. This is theft. game. This is game show now. Yeah, we're scared of identity theft here. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. I just don't right. want. I don't want my crazy fan showing up at my house. Uh, well, you true. don't have to say exactly <laughs> where you're from. That's so insane. Where were you born? There, there's that. Where were you? Where were you born? Where were you originally I born? I was born at Akron Children's Hospital. Me too. Me too. Not me. Loner. God help us. Yeah. You no. Know. Loner. But you know, you asked me where I'm from. Hey, where are you from? Uranus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an asshole baby. Okay. <laughs> how how is it up there? Uh, I don't know. It stinks. This <laughs> 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 is what I heard. It's very dark. dark, very dark. It's very dark. And it's All like right. a lo- it's like a lost cave. Hey, now maybe this. Now maybe if we mix last week's banana beer. Yeah. Oh this week, God, no! No, what, what you don't. Sound? You never mix beers. But if it was a regular banana, it would chocolate. It you would you yeah, never mix good. beers. Yeah, chocolate, chocolate banana. banana. Would be okay, delicious. maybe that was like a sour. But last week's beer. Yeah. Okay. It was awful. Yeah. That should, beer, should I, where is it from? Should I explain it like Giant I Giant fucking eagle. Oh, gotcha. I think it's still in the fridge, isn't it? Or is yeah, it gone? Yeah, it is. Is oh, it Dylan? Oh, I'll try it. Oh, Dylan. Yeah, I'll try it. Try it. Listen, Dylan, I'm, I'm going to warn you right yeah, now. Yeah, you better film okay. his face. Yeah. It smells. Film his face. It smells. It smells like dirty pussy. <laughs> oh. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. Oh, no, oh. it does. Oh, it does. It smells like dirty it pussy. It looks like a gallon of horse cum. Oh. That is true. Yeah, that's true. It tastes... <laughs> listen, yeah, he listen. just knows. He's seen things. Listen, before. when you've lived on the farm as long He's as we constant. have. What happens in the past stays in the past. I had a bad experience. All right? All right. It tastes, Only it tastes like sour bananas. Yeah, right. it's, it's bad. It's just horrible. Yeah, it's, it's, it's bad. So plug my nose when I drink it. Plug your nose. I mean, plug, close your eyes. It just, just, pretend, just, just, just pretend it's not... Bull semen. I mean, just right. you know, yeah. whatever weird ritual you. You know what we should do? do? We, should, right. we should have left it warm. Oh yeah, that would be even better. All right. It might taste better warm. <laughs> <laughs> well, you want to take over for the hosting duties for? for yeah. My review? Okay. Okay. Now Dylan Thompson is about ready to uh, go ahead and take a sip of his beverage and give it a score. Here he goes. He's taking a sip. It's at his lips. It's his going lips. Down. It's going down. And he's. Now that's a beer. He smiles. <laughs> he smiled. <laughs> He, he smiled. I'm gonna it? give this one. Um, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be probably pretty close to you. I'll be. I'll be a little higher. Probably seven eight. Seven eight. Okay. Ooh, so it'll be a seven eight. So we're all in the um, general area. Um, I just. I enjoyed it. I, I, I personally enjoyed I enjoy it. this beer. There are too few beers that advertise themselves as a chocolate beer mm-hmm. that are not chocolate. Right. This right. is a. That is a chocolate yeah, beer chocolate. from start to finish. From tip of your tongue all the way down your throat, it's you're chocolate. getting the chocolate taste. And mm-hmm. you, 
you know as well as I do. Sexualize the beer there. Yeah, it's coating your tongue. Absolutely. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's coating your tongue. <laughs> it coat it. Co- <sighs> <sighs> Dylan just had Dylan just jizzed in his pants. I mean, and he's got his legs up, and he's like, "On air." What is amazing is he's got his legs up, and Mikey's kind of aiming it right at you. Totally. Can yeah. you see my balls? Oh boy. Can you I see did, both I, of them? I didn't want to say anything. What about the third one? I, oh yeah, that one's there. <laughs> yeah, the little black hole. It's speaking, down below of, him. Speaking, <laughs> speaking of balls, uh, Hilljack Bob has started to record yeah, his Christmas. Hilljack solo. Bob was in the studio for a little while today. Uh, recorded his Christmas. He brought his guitar. Yeah, he started recording his Christmas album. Yeah, and his guitar is actually probably the nicest thing he owns. I'm. He he, he took it out of a case and is like. Yeah, he, I mean, it's he, his prized possession. I think I mean, he was like that thing was like he was caring for it. He was. He was like he, he even licked it afterwards. I don't know what that was about. I don't know. Licked the guitar. Uh, yeah. He licked the yeah, guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you, did you he, he, like where? Right? Yeah, yeah, something like that. So, uh, but yeah, Hilljack Bob started recording the uh, the Christmas album today. Yes. Cool. So uh, expect to see he that got, soon. He, he got into the holiday spirit. In stores near you. Yeah. I married a hippopotamus this Christmas. <laughs> I know. I married we, won't, we won't say which stores, but yeah. in stores. In stores. All right. Uh, they might throw them out. <laughs> right. What, uh, what's Costco. next? What's Costco. next? Costco. What's next? Well, you know, let's, let's just start actually how we, well, we would start the program. Welcome, right. everyone, to the program. Uh, Earl McCune here hosting. We have Dylan Thompson here. We have Mike Haig here. What's Miss, up? Miss Liz is here. Tony hey. the Comedy Killer and John Sinsel's on the phone. And we are saluting. And the mayor of Knox County on the television. And, and the yeah. mayor of Knox County on the television. <laughs> we are saluting Family Feud. Do, do, do. And we are do, saluting do, do, do. all of Family Feud. You're gonna have we're gonna do, have Family do. Feud clips from Richard Dawson to Ray Combs. Through uh, the current day stuff with Steve Harvey, so I mean we we got we got a whole list of Family Feud stuff you, here. You got Al on there? Uh, I didn't get him on there. I couldn't find a good clip. He, but no, there, there there is a couple things of him on there, and we, we, one of the uh, compilation deals uh, we yeah. set up. Okay, the yeah. funny the, the funny moments. It's gonna say, yeah. man. The, the funny fun. moments. Got, gotta get gotta get Al on there, man. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hey. Tony. We still ought to do that show. Um, we will. We will. We will. We still ought to do that show. We will. Uh, tonight, I do want to make an announcement. We were supposed to have a special guest coming on around 8.30, uh, Mr. Sean Mulroney. He had to call. He got a hold of me just before the program. He, he had to postpone. We're going to move that until next Friday at 8.30. Yes, we're going to have him back on the show. Same bat time. Same, same bat Same place. bat time. Same bat place. Same bat channel. All that good stuff. Uh, Sean will be with us. Next Friday night. So if you were tuning in, hoping to hear Sean, uh, sorry, he's tuning in a little longer. He'll be sorry. on. He'll be on seven days from tonight. So yeah, it, just we do apologize. Just stick just, around for the next week. Yeah, things, constantly. Yeah, things have yeah, don't, don't turn us off. Think, yeah, think, yeah, don't turn us off. Leave, yeah. leave it on. Keep us on. Deb's been turning me off for fifteen years. Right? There it is. Damn. Uh, let's not go there. Huh? Anyway, that, that's gonna get you thrown out. Say what now? I said you're gonna get something thrown at you for that. You know? Well, she's not here, so I don't give a shit. Oh, there you go. That's yeah. Free game night. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. It yeah, it's free game night. Why do you think we started with a beer review? Yeah, that's yeah. A, we started off the show. We got into right. prime condition to do the show tonight. We are <laughs> we are primed. We are ready. Um, we also got a few exciting things coming up tonight. We're bringing back. Something we haven't done in a long time on this program. Yeah, the, I just I just want to do it all now. Like I just I, I know we you have, know what I mean. I know we have four hours. I just want to do it all now. I'm so excited. Seven random questions. I'm so makes excited. It, makes his return tonight. I'm so excited yeah. for that. Seven random questions returns tonight. And we're putting the new girl on the spot. Yeah, right. yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. New girl. New girl goes on the spot. So we're gonna be uh, doing seven. Don't random worry. Questions. You might only. You only might quit. <laughs> I'm not gonna quit. Ooh. Only quitters quit. Ooh. Tough words from a tough gal. <laughs> Battle axe, <X>, baby. <laughs> <laughs> tough words from a tough gal. I like it. We'll like see. It. We'll see if she can back him up, or if she'll have to wear the cone of shame. The cone of shame. What is the cone, cone of, shame? of shame? I don't know. I just made that up. <laughs> you made it up. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll figure. It sounded out. good. <laughs> Hilljack's cock hat. Sure. <laughs> it's, in, it's in the office. <laughs> sounded good. Hilljack. What, what did you say? <laughs> He's got a cock hat. Cock hat? A cock hey, hat. Hey, Rick. Is it a hat? That's it's it's a hat like with a, a rooster. It's a hat with a rooster on it. Oh, okay. Yeah, you have to wear a cock hat. Yeah. And yeah, we should write on it. I love. Yeah, never mind. Yeah. 
Well, then you couldn't wear it anymore. Because yeah. then it'd be weird. It'd be really weird so if I wore it. Died, right? Well, it's like, you know, early, earlier tonight I was sitting there thinking, you know, I want another tattoo. Mm-hmm. And I, I, already know, I already know what I want to get. You know, I've already got... How did... T- I'm a little nervous about this because we're going from <laughs> cock hat to, to tat- I want another tattoo. <laughs> like, are you going to get a tattoo on your cock, Tony? No, 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 no. There's no, he's getting a tattoo of a cock <laughs> on his ass. No. <laughs> With an arrow. Yeah. Oh, insert here. Insert here. Now, I was thinking a tattoo of... <laughs> I was thinking of a tattoo with a foghorn leghorn with a noose around his neck, and I want to get it done on my calf. That way, when I walk around and tell somebody I got a cock that hangs past my knees, I'm not lying. <laughs> Here's a random factoid. I learned this week that foghorn leghorn was only in 39 cartoons. Yeah. That's it. Did you know that? Yeah. Yeah, you, people, you know, most people don't realize it was just like, you know, Bugs Bunny was pretty much in every, every one. And I remember the one time my boss listens to him. My boss, both my boss's ringtones are the themed uh, mm-hmm. Looney Tunes. Right. <laughs> so, you know, that way when my phone rings, I know who it is. So I know whether mm-hmm. to answer it or ignore it. I usually ignore theirs. Right. And uh, so, and, uh, but it's like, you know, of course, you know, Bugs Bunny's in the majority of them. And then, you know, in second place is Daffy Duck. Mm-hmm. They were the biggest draws. And then uh, somebody actually, there's, there's re- realistically a bird called a chicken hawk. You're right. So somebody on Facebook had posted, you know, I've got a chicken hawk, you know, in my uh, yard. What the hell do I do? So I posted, a, you know, one of those gift photos of foghorn leghorn. Because you don't remember, I'm a chicken hawk and you're a chicken, you know, come right. with me. Right, right, And I'm right, like, right. But let foghorn leghorn take care of it. <laughs> it's like, son, I said, son, you're about to exceed the limits of my medication. Dylan got a tattoo of a, of a cock on his cock. Really? To make it look bigger. <laughs> he went for the enhancement look. So it was like shading? You get some, yeah. you get some shading done, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mike will tell you. <laughs> Mike, Mike, Mike gave him the tattoo. <laughs> it's pretty. Yep. No, you get a dollar sign tattooed on your thing. That way, next time, you know, that way, if, if Maria wants it, you can blow money. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. wow! That's you know, kinda... Mike Mike gave me the tattoo, then he kissed it better. <laughs> I'm all about customer service. Them. It was like a French kiss, so it was a little weird. I'm all about cu- you liked it. Shut up. Well, let me tell you, I, I, I got I got what I, happens in the Fox. I, I, got, one my, I got one of my I got one of my things. Right. It, it's it, it's I actually advertised for a bar and grill. Okay, it's it's some hello. Why did that come up? Shorties. Uh-huh. It says shorties. And I'm like, oh, shorties. Ah, all right. Shorties bar and grill. Yeah, short. It's uh, yeah. It's, it's what it says when it's slip, but it probably like, it's, it hard extends out. Shorties bar and grill, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Yeah, on one line. In Comic Sans point one font. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sure. I thought it was Times New Roman. Well, do you do you remember well, hearing that story sure. a few years Can ago? You change it. About the, no. you remember hearing that story? The guy got in a lot of trouble because his ex his ex came in mm-hmm. and uh. He, she wanted a tattoo he t- on her back. He tattooed like that steaming pile of crap that had the flies buzzing around it because oh. he had found out she was cheating on him. Uh. So he got in a lot of trouble for that because it's permanent. <coughs> yeah. It's really? It's permanent. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Anyway, he was like, in a word, no oh, shit, it's permanent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like henna or something. Uh. Right. Right. Well, who was here the one time earlier this year doing Hannah tattoos? Well, Mike can answer that because yeah. he actually had that whole deal set up. I had that whole deal set up. Uh, her name is Nirali, and she does henna out of uh, her home in Akron. And she was doing a fundraiser for my father. Okay. Oh, cool. You had quite a few people show up here, we didn't did. you? We did. We actually had, I think, like 12 ladies show up. Yeah, we did, we did it right here in the lobby. Right? Yeah. Did you guys film it? No, we no. didn't really get a chance to film it. No. And Honestly, you know, with all the different strangers showing up, we didn't want to take a chance. Of well, we didn't want to do stuff. that, and then, you know, we'd have to have everyone sign a waiver. Right. You know, yeah. And then, yeah. But yeah. Well, they did it right out there, and, I mean, yeah. we only ran it until 8 o'clock, but I don't think she finished the last one until, like, 9.15. Right. Okay, let me, let me ask you. No, Earl, you have no tattoos, right? No, I have none. Dylan. I've got one. Uh, you, Mike, uh, Mike obviously has tattoos. Yeah. I've got tattoos. Okay. Uh, any? Any tattoos? No, I have no tattoos. You should get one. You, you get Seriously. one. You get one. You're gonna get hooked. Seriously, Why? you I should mean, get one. That costs extra money. Ah, you mm-hmm. should get one. They're they're totally worth having. They're totally. I, worth I, it. I, I don't want one. It's hey, okay. I can pay for my tattoo, the Dilly. 
Okay, for the uh, for the other two gentlemen that have tattoos, then would you ever get a tattoo at a tattoo party? No. No. See, I wouldn't either, just because you know I'm, you know, no. I'm kind of those like those those free tattoos they give out on like Friday the Thirteenth. Yeah. Don't get them. No. Well, no. Well, well don't get I, them I know a lot of people. My brother rented a house to somebody, and they were having they were going to have people over and have a tattoo party, and it was tattoo artists that worked at a legitimate shop. Right. But the shop's certified, you know, clean. But I just don't trust, you know, getting it done mm-hmm. out, outdoors and the elements, yada yada. I want right, to get it right, right. in a clean studio. No, I mm-hmm. mean the, the last thing. Hey, that's a nice tattoo. What are those bumps around it? Oh, that's my Ganesha Herpalades. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Folks, if uh, those of you watching on Facebook Live, those of you listening, if you'd like to join the program and uh, help take part in the conversation, you're more than welcome to join us. The telephone number, you can reach us live and uh, anywhere in the world. Just call 234 or, text. or Texas. Yes. We'd, love, we'd love to hear from you in your text messages, too. Yeah. 234-200-5110. That is 234-200-5110. You can get right through the program. We'd love to hear from you tonight. Yeah. It's true. It's we true. Would. We, we would. would. We would love to hear from you tonight. I would love to. You would absolutely just... I would die. Dylan would have an orgasm right here on our radio. Just for you. Again. Oh, God. For the second time tonight. It would kind of sound like Meg Ryan in that one movie. Oh, when Harry met Sally? Yeah, Yeah. that's the movie. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. That's enough. Yep. I'll have what she's having. Yeah. Me too. Check, please. Yeah, check, please. I'll have what she's having. Absolutely, I'd take the... (laughs) Survey set. Ding! You have a winner. We have a winner, everybody. Winner, 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 chicken dinner. All right. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take our first break, play our cl- first one of our first clips from the, the Family Food, and we're going to come back and play some random questions out of the gate. How we, All how right. We go for that? Oh, man. All right. We'll be right back. Did you know that more than 2 million children die each year due to dehydration, which really sucks, you know? Someone should do something about that. But hey, check out this mop I've got here. It's called the Smart Mop. All you got to do is dunk it and grip it real tight, you know? Give it a nice double-handed Indian burn right there on the pee-pee, and you're ready to clean. Now, what's great about the Smart Mop is you actually get smarter while you use it. And it's so much fun, I think I'll get on my heels. Woo! Woo-hoo. Okay, now that that's all cleaned up, the mop is nice and heavy, so you can put it over your head just like this and get a nice upper body workout. And after your workout, you need a protein shake. Look how much money you're saving. You're so goddamn smart. Dandruff. Blood. Boogers. It does it all. What, are you going to use that fucking Swiffer Sweeper bullshit? What, are you stupid? No, you're smart. I'm actually too smart for this, so I have the twist handle shoved up my ass right now as I'm mopping this up for you. Not only because it's more of a challenge, but I also don't need to buy toilet paper. There you go. Toss it in with your rainbow blankets. Yeah! I bet you're on your knees covered in shit right now. And that brawny's gonna make you look stupid. You want to be smart. No more dreadlocks, no more sponges. And you know what? Fuck brooms. Whoops, I popped a hemorrhoid in the kitchen and I sneezed on the door. Oh shit, there's the hair from my left testicle. Oh no, biker bitches broke in and spilled Pepto-Bismol. And it looks like someone else broke in as well. Djibouti Dubs. Hi, this is Stephanie Raquel Kokora, and I run under lock and key from 5 to 6 on Mondays. Come and see me. Um, It's everything they don't want you to know all in one place. Um, I'm a truth seeker, have been for many, many years, and uh, I do the research. All you got to do is listen and make your own cantations out of that. And this is sklradio.com. Hi, this is Bob Fritz, host of the Oldies But Goodies Show here on SKO Radio. Join me every Sunday morning from 11 to 2 Eastern Standard Time for the best of the 50s, 60s, and 70s. 
You can get your requests in by going to Facebook page yesterday and today's classic music chat tribute and games. Hi, this is Dylan Thompson, and you're listening to our new SKO Radio Network. Stay tuned. Well, the Mackins were our final winning family, and they won five thousand five hundred and four dollars, and I'm proud of them. I've had the most incredible luck in my career. I've done lots and lots of jobs, and I've never ever had a job like Family Feud. I've never dreamed I would ever have a job where. So many people could touch me and I could touch them. And it was, there's a great magic about this show that I've never seen on any other show. I want to publicly acknowledge Howard Felsher, who's our executive producer. He was a producer in the beginning of this show. And he helped steer and guide the way that we went. And he and I fall a lot of times, but I tell you that he's important and I should acknowledge him because he was the one with me that we said let anybody come on this show anyone that can play this game no matter what color or creed no matter if they're in a wheelchair or they have no sight and we've had everybody on the show and he was very very important in that and i acknowledge and thank him for it i thank my crew and i thank my director already i have the best staff you've ever dreamed of you can't but you don't have to dream of them because I'm going to take them with me. Even if I never work again, they'll just be near me. They are so special and wonderful. A, B, C, Jackie, Smith, Wally Welton, Josie, Alba. They kept us on the air probably a year more than they should have because we weren't really helping them. You know, our ratings weren't that good. And they were so great. They buried themselves carrying us, and I loved them for that. Not that I wanted to hurt them, but because I, I love them. They were good people. There were people I know that got upset that I kissed people. I kissed them for luck and love, that's all. That's what my mother did to me. There were people upset that I would embrace or hug someone of a different color. The first time I ever saw people of any color was when D-Day left from my hometown in England to go and free Europe in the war. And there was every color you could imagine. And I'd not seen that in England. And I asked my mother about that. I said, is there something wrong? She said, God. God makes people. You understand that, don't you? And I said, yeah. She said, who makes a rainbow? I said, God. She said, I'd never presume to tell anyone who could make a rainbow what color to make children. And she changed my whole life with that statement. All I can tell you is, this has been a very special nine years of my life. If I never do another thing, I've met the good, sweet people of the world. So I leave you with love and for the little girl that nine years ago I first signed to. I guess she's 13 now. I'll think of you every day. God bless all the little children in the world. Thank you. You're listening to Some Kind of Radio Show here on the SKO Radio Network. Call now at 234-200-5110. Again, that's 234-200-5110. Now here's Earl McCune and the crazy crew. All right, we're back, uh, 8.35 here on some kind of radio show here on the SKO Radio Network. Yeah. And uh, Earl McCune along with uh, Dylan Thompson, uh, Mr. Mike Hay. What's up? To Push the comic killer, and, and, and Liz went to hide. Now, here she comes. Here she comes. She, she knew, she's like, I'm, she's dreading this moment. She, she's dreading this moment. I had to drain the lizard. Oh. 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 Yeah. And oh. that's why she fits in with this show. Yeah, she, <laughs> yeah, that's why. It's time to play seven random questions. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. There we go. All right. Seven random questions. <laughs> They're All not right. that random. We came up with them ahead of time, but... Play that funky music. Play random for right. me. No. Nice music. Yeah. Yeah, for real. I think it's, I think it's good background music. Let's get it down to a good level. This is there. my bonus round music on my favorite slot machine. All right. All right. All right we're going to start off with geography. Okay, Liz. Okay. What state am I thinking of? 
<laughs> it's not a state of mind. Uh, Survey no. says no, Oklahoma. No, well, you want you want to try again? Okay, Oklahoma. Uh, Survey says. Survey says. Eh, no, I'm thinking of State of the Union. Oh, okay. State of the Union. <laughs> ah, <laughs> right. Right. Question two. Okay, she's zero for one on seven rounds. That's, right. That's all right. Question no two. No of work. Qu- okay, question number two. Within ten beers, how many have Dylan and I had combined in the last month? Within ten, you can guess within ten. I'd say more than ten. Well, well no, yeah. you got to guess within ten. Guess within beers. ten. Nine. No, that's all you're gonna say. No, I, I, I think month. no, 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 no. With, uh, with it, how, how many beers? You have to be within ten of like what? Over ten? No, no like so, it, so you're, so you're not. Hold on. You, you, you can be within the <laughs> no, uh, it, scale of ten. So I if just you, said nine. No, listen. If you <laughs> guess, good if, enough. You, if you guess twenty-nine, the answer could be nineteen or thirty-nine. Can I Anywhere say, in between. Yeah, can I say yeah. 29 then? 29? You're thinking that's all mean Dylan has 29 beers in a month? 69? 69. I'll tell you what, that's right in within the 10th. Right 67. 67. 67. Uh-huh. 67 is how many beers we have. I was going to say, you know, I was, I was almost thinking 68, but we actually did account 67 yep. beers. All right, 67. So you're one and one. Okay? Uh, well, yeah. actually, I think it's 68 now with, 60, yeah. with the beers we've had. Yeah. But, but that was right. last month. So will be 69 within like yeah. a minute. All right, question number three. Not including the penis, how many bones are in a human body? <laughs> I think 180. Survey says. Survey says. And 206. Dylan, uh, I'm Tony got it. 206. 206. Uh, 206. All right. We didn't say like number All right. seven. Number four. Other than this show, how many shows has Dylan hosted? Three? Oh, no, so sorry. sorry. The correct so, answer is uh, one. One. Uh, <laughs> he, he hosted one other program other than this. And oh. he, he did a Friday evening uh, request show at another radio station. <laughs> uh, Our producer yeah. said we aren't allowed to see yeah. 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 So you've, so so you've gotten one right so far. And we're on question five. It's not a good score. Not, not very I good. I guess I yeah. suck. You have to study next time. Yeah, you have to study. Yeah, you study next time. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. This is a within three, okay? Okay. What number between one and a hundred am I thinking of? Fifty-five. Oh, I'm so no, sorry. No, 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 no. I'm thinking of sixty-eight because I'll owe you one later. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> should know better. All right, now you this. Really should have seen all that. All right, yeah. now this is a good old classic match game. Bed blank. Bed blank. Sheets. Bed sheets. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Bed pan. Ew. Bed pan. That's not. <laughs> Thank sexy. you very much for playing. We got one more question. Ah, one more. Oh, Jesus, sorry. Billy. Bed bugs. All right, you have ten. This is a, this is a rapid fire. Oh, that's right. I this is our final that. question. Rapid fire. <laughs> ten seconds on the ten clock. Ten seconds on the clock. You got ten. You got a clock, Dylan. We'll right. get it. We'll we get need it. a clock. Okay. All right, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. We're working on it. All right. Whenever you're ready, roll. All right. On okay. your, on your, on your, go- on, okay. On I'm your, ready. Okay. Name four different types of beers. You have 10 seconds. Ale. Okay. Stout. Yep. Oh, fuck. Cider. Okay. Yes. And. Four. Three. Oh, two. shit. I can't think of a one. fourth one. All right. Give her more time. Pilsner. Okay. I'll give her five Pilsner. more seconds. Pilsner. Pilsner. There, there you go. go. There we go. Hey. We went out. We went out with a bang. So she get two out of three out of five. Three out of five. three out of seven. Three out of seven. Three out of seven. All right. Three no, out of you, seven. You, didn't fa- you didn't fail. I mean, no, it's a, well, you, uh, it's a fail, but it's a fail. It's not yeah. a fucking fail. <laughs> it's fail, but it's 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 not. But terrible. we're bringing back seven random questions as part of the show, and I will ask seven random questions to any one of our panelists from week to week. So it could be Liz, it could be Tony, it could be Dylan, it could be Mike, it could be Deb. Whoever it could be John on the phone. Yeah, call in. Could be yeah. Earl. Yeah, I could even. It could be I, you. It could be Dylan. Could even have Wait. the questions and have to ask me we next could time. Just do it. That'd be awesome. But yeah, seven ra- yeah seven random questions is something we're gonna. It, we used to do this on the old show all the time, and uh, the old show. The old show. We it was the old show. The yeah. old radio. Show. The old. The old radio well, show. Well, now, now, Earl, we gotta qualify this because there was the old show and then there was the old old show. Well, there was the actually there was the old 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 show, then there was the old old show, then the old show, and then this show. This is like toilet paper math. I don't get it. Four shows. 
This is it's the same show, but it's the we same had, show, just different places. This is scores four four point oh. This is scores four point oh. Four point two actually. Yeah. We updated. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so this is some kind that's of. That's why there's so this, many glitches. This is some kind of reissue yeah. of four four point two. Yeah, we got to go, go back to four point one one. Yeah. 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 But yeah, this is four point oh. But because uh, this is the fourth place we've done this show, so. But. Uh, yeah, so yeah, we used to do this show. Uh, now, John remembers we used to do this on the old, old show. <laughs> Back in our YouTube, strictly YouTube days, we, when we were just a YouTube podcast, we did this. Um, we did seven random questions quite often. And uh, yes. it was a lot of fun. It was just something different to do. Yes, very good. Very good. Very it's good. good. Very good. This is very good. And uh oh, John, John, drop off the line because he's calling John. back. John, what, John, what happened? Hold on, man. You got to actually wait for it yeah. to answer. Right? All right, John, what happened? Did you hang up? I, I, I was uh, doing something and I accidentally hit the hang up button. Oh, oh John. shitty! Jesus. You had one job. What the hell it's are you true. doing? You, you know did. what? I think we should come up with four. I think we should come up with seven random uh, questions for John in a little bit. Yeah, Absolutely. I can do that. Can you do that? Do I can that. do. Can that. you get some flashcards ready? I can do that. All right. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Let me go get some flashcards. Yeah. Get some flashcards ready. Oh. We'll be right back. All right. Yeah. Well, I will. <laughs> you know, don't worry about it. Yeah. I think we got to do seven random questions, part two. John, you gonna want you gonna want to play this tonight? Part two. Oh, why not? Okay. <laughs> we'll do that. We'll do that probably in the next hour sometime. But we're gonna we'll do another round of it later because you know what? This is just a fun. This is game show night. You know, okay. Right. Yeah. And, uh, you know, one thing I wanted to do tonight, but I just didn't have time to prepare it. I was going to do Family Feud. I was going to do Family Feud. That's the other thing we should have done. We should have done a Family Feud type of thing, you know. Yeah, we're pretty, I think we well, still could probably. We could probably wing it. We could probably, probably. wing it. Yeah, I think I could probably wing it. Like probably a find Family something. Feud Five game people right surveyed. Now, I could probably find something online and we could just use that. Five people. Yeah, we five su- people we surveyed. surveyed five people. Top four answers are on the board. <laughs> I like games. This is game show night. This is game show month. So we're we're having fun. Fuck yeah. Yeah. You gotta have fun. Come on. Yeah. So that's what this mean? game's all about, you know. This show's all about. Oh yeah, we we could we could do this, sure. Oh yeah. yeah. Anything's possible with the internet. Come on now. Anything's possible. We can make Hold on, man. I think we, we, we. Hey, you know what? We I can do live we, sexy time we on can, internet. We can play. We can. Come on, play. This Whoa. is scores. We're we all can sit here drinking. Poop on the internet. We're, yeah. we can, on, on the TV is fifty <laughs> women and one transvestite beating the shit out of each other. There we go. Fifty women and a transvestite. Does he know? Do does he know there's a transvestite there? I like transvestites. If you watch closely. Ah uh, yes. I didn't know yeah, if you knew on. there. I didn't know if you knew hang that on. there was the transvestite in the corner. Yeah, back there in the corner. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. I didn't know if you knew yeah. that. Okay. She's, got, like, she's got bigger balls than I do. Mm-hmm. It's true. Dude, you guys see Glow on fucking Netflix? That's a great show. Glow is the shit. Glow's hilarious. Glow, Glow is amazing. Yeah. Josh, Josh Ankle's on watching us. He, he remembers the YouTube shows because he, yeah. was, he was. Josh a, was there. Josh was there. I wasn't, but Josh was. Josh was there. Josh was there in the early, early days. I was there in the before times. He was there in the early days. No shit. There I was. Yep. Tony, put that thing away. Holy shit. I know they're hot women, but God. Calm down, Tony. Uh, pink skirt. We'll hook, her, we'll hook her up with Josh. Yeah. Oh. Jo- Josh, like we have the so perfect boots. woman for you. Her name's Santina. Oh, God. Her, her brother's Santino. Uh-huh. Oh, no. Oh, what no. are you doing? Playing Fallout? No, I was actually... Don't download shit on the computer. No, I wasn't... It's brand new. I was looking for... I'm going to break it. This is supposed to be... a porn girl. This is nice supposed to be family. If we now this, yeah, this is a you wouldn't yeah. have to live so long. This is, it a, be nice. this is muted. Oh. Only we can hear it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Only we can hear it. Oh, well, here's your earworm for the night, everybody. The, the Beach anyway. Boys. Anyway. Wouldn't it be anyway. Nice if we anyway. Brian Wilson's anyway, you guys, yeah. we're going to play Family Feud here. Then we wouldn't have to wait so long. Hold on. We're going to play Family Feud here as soon as this is done. If we're all going to play Family Feud. I'll, pl- I'll, I'll, play, uh, I'll play the part of host since I got the computer in front You kind of look like Steve Harvey. That makes sense. I don't look like Steve Harvey. I'll, I'll, a little bit. I look little more bit. like Richard Dawson. Yeah. No, you look like Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey. 
Harvey, Harvey, Harvey. The color is off. I got hair on my head here, too, okay? I mean, I still have hair on my head. Oh, Steve Harvey's, like, bald now? Yeah. Yeah, he's been bald. What? He's been bald for a little while. I haven't been paying attention to Steve Harvey. Uh, Hold on. Well, I can get this thing to... Let's see if I can find it. There we go. Earl can't find it. No, I can find it. I'm just trying to find something we can actually (laughs) play. I can find it just fine. Believe me, I have no trouble finding it. But you can't play with it? I said play with it, just don't talk to it. Gotcha. Yeah. Boy, no, you did that twice. Never mind. Never mind. Let's, <laughs> Never not, mind. let's not go there, okay? Walk away. Let's just walk away from that one, okay? Walk away. Yeah, quickly. Quickly. Oh, here we go. Feud. Yes, let's play. Let's play. Let's play the family feud. All right, here we let's go. Let's play the family Feud. Okay, we're going to play the, the Family Feud. Yes, we are. Round one. We Round surveyed one. 100 people. The top seven answers are on the board. Okay. Ooh. All right. Here's the question. And we'll go around the line here. Name a reason a cab driver might say he had a bad day in the job. He got robbed. Robbed. Let's yeah. submit that. Survey says. That's uh, number four answer. All right. All right, Liz. He got stabbed. Stabbed. <laughs> Survey says. Survey says. And, oh, let's move on to Mike. Mike. Someone puked in his cab. Mm. Puke. That's a good one. Puked in the cab. Survey says. Oh. oh. Dylan Thompson. It's up to you, Dylan. Um, he got into a car accident. Good. Good. That's a good answer. Yeah. Number one. Number one? Did you spell it right? No. <laughs> no, I did. Let's see what Survey this is. Says? That's ah! on the board. That's yeah. actually the seventh. John Sensel. No tip. No tip. All right. Let's see. Survey says. Survey says. Oh, you guys all suck. Too bad. Let's take a look at what you missed. Okay. Let's see number one. Number one was no fares. Can we see two, please? Uh, Bad tips. Let's see number three. It should have counted as tips. Heavy traffic. Number five. Got a ticket. Let's see number six. Flat tire. Let's see how you did. Let's see how we did. We, we s- suck. You guys. The average score is 36. You point. guys got we'll 19. All right. But we got another round. Some more There's another round. Okay. We surveyed 100 people. The top six answers are on the board. All right. Let's go around the horn. Start with Here's Tony. question. Name something women might leave. That might. <laughs> name something women <laughs> might leave lipstick marks on. A man's collar. I can only imagine these answers that you guys are thinking of. Survey says it's a number three answer. Let's move on to Miss Liz. I have a dirty mind, so I'm going to say a cock. All right. I'm sure it's not. I like to think of it. (laughs) All right, let's see if it takes it. Rainbow Party. Survey says. Survey says. Not Liz, on the board. Liz stole my answer, so yeah. I'm going to be nice and say on your cheek. Cheek. Okay. Uh, Texas, Steve. Survey says. <laughs> Number one answer. Oh, yeah. Dylan Thompson. Um, wine glass. Wine glass. Or just glass. <laughs> this thing is just... Eh, it's just a... All right, here we go. Survey says. Survey says. Oh, it's on the board. It's it's a cup. Okay, John Sinsel. Name something women might leave lipstick marks on. Silverware. Silverware. All right, it's typed in. Let's submit it. Survey says. No. 
On to Tony, Tony the Comedy Killer. Name something women might leave lipstick marks on. It's all up to you. No pressure. Might leave lipstick marks on. Got ten seconds, Tony. A uh, napkin. Oh, that's good. Like. <laughs> like. All right, let's submit it. Survey says. No. Oh. Strike three. Two Lips. Man. All let's right. Let's take a look. Let's at take a missed. look at what you missed. Can we see two, please? Letter. Let's see number five. Who does it? Straw. Let's see number six. Pillow. Pillow. Let's see how you did. Let's see how we did, guys. Hey, we we matched the average score, Good seventy-nine. Work. You're ahead. We're ahead. Time for You're round welcome. Three. Round You're three, welcome. guys. All right. Liz is first this time. Yeah, Liz is first. Liz, Boy, values are doubled. Okay. Values are doubled. We surveyed 100 people. I'm excited. Now, five answers are on the board. I'll read the question. Here's the question. Name something a cowboy would hate to have happen during a gunfight. Okay. Run out of bullets. <laughs> All right, let's submit that. Run out of bullets. Survey says... Number two answer. Ooh. All right, moving on to Mike Hague. During a gunfight? During a gunfight. Some of the cowboy would hate to have happen during a gunfight. He'd hate to lose. All right. Clever. Survey says... That was the number five answer on the board. Moving on to Dylan Thompson. Uh, have a misfire. Misfire, okay. Shooting blanks. I'll submit that. Survey says. Oh, it's on the board. Number four on the John Sinsel. Hat falls over his eyes. So detailed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's submit that answer. Survey says. No, that's the first strike, guys. This is on the Tony the Comedy Killer. We only have two answers left. <laughs> What was the question? Name something a cowboy would hate to have happen during a gunfight. Ten seconds. Gun gets jammed. We already, we have, already that. have that. Uh, craps himself. All right. <clears throat> we'll submit it. Survey says. Ah. Back to you. On the Miss Liz. Oh, no pressure. You got I this. I don't know. I don't know if I got it. Sun gets in his eyes. Sun and eyes. Not a bad guess. That's not a bad guess. Yes. So let's see what the, let's see what the survey says. Survey says. Oh, oh the fuck. Strike three. The fuck. Too bad. The let's fuck. take a look at what you missed. Let's take a look at what let's you missed. Let's see number one. Number one answer was get shot. Let's see yeah. number three. Misses. Yeah. Let's see how you did. We're ahead. We ever we, we, we scored one seventy one. The average score is 152. Round four. Cool. We're still playing, guys. Point values are triple. Triple. Triple here. We here surveyed we... 100 people. The top four answers are on the board. That's right. Here's the question. Make Mike first. If Batman got married, name someone he knows that probably would not get an invitation. What? The Joker. The Joker. All right. Here we go. Survey says. Number one answer. Yep. All right, move on to Dylan Thompson. Catwoman. Ooh. All right, Catwoman. Survey says. Number two answer. Let's move on to uh, Mr. John Sinsel. How about the penguin? Penguin. My twin. <laughs> Survey says. Number four answer. Got one left. All right, Tony. You could win the game for him here. Uh, the Riddler. All right, here we go. I think you guys Survey are going to get says. it. You fill up the board. You got it. Great. You got them all. Great. But what's the final score? Do you go on to fast money? 468. I think we're going to fast money here. Work. You're ahead. Now let's pick it's two people for fast money. money. Who's going to be the two? You'll have two chances to get 200 points. I think it should be Billy. Billy. All right. Dilly. Dilly. We'll come back to it. Dilly Who, who's Liz. the next one? All right, Dilly some... and Liz. Clock, okay. Dilly and Liz? 
right. 50 seconds on the get? clock. Cover your ears. Okay. To cover my ears? Name something an employee might ask his All boss right, for. Covered. A raise. Okay. Name something that fastens clothing together. A button. Name a disadvantage of sharing a bed with someone. Oh. <laughs> no space. <laughs> All right. Name something couples exchange when they get married. Vows. And name the loudest animal in the zoo. Elephant. All right. Welcome to the SKO Radio Network. You can find us online at skoradio.com. We're also on the TuneIn app where you can listen with your mobile devices on the Google Play and Apple Store. Find us on social media at facebook.com forward slash SKO Radio Network. You're tuned to the SKO Radio Network and online at skoradio.com. Ask this question. Name a disadvantage of sharing a bed with someone. He answered no space. 56. Damn. We might not even be needed. Sorry. <laughs> Name something couples exchange when they get married. That was it. You guys won. You guys won. All right. You guys are the winning family. We're the winning family. Yeah, we made it I thought I had separate questions. We, no, it's the same question. You got enough points. Oh. You got enough points. You guys got 20,000 points. You win. It's, we family. get the car. All right. right. You weren't even needed. I wasn't needed at all. I was. I thought I was against Dylan. 20, oh. 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 Top okay. answer was Ray's. Just for checking it out. Bye. Buttons was the number one answer. All right. Crowded. Okay, same so thing. No room. Yep. Snoring. Vows was the number one answer. Ah. And the last animal zoo was not the number one answer. It was a lion. Oh. But you still kicked ass. That was close. We should play this again. I like That's this. That's our game. I like Hurry this. Hurry on back and play the family feud. I like that. <laughs> yeah, we'll, that, we'll, we'll, that was like yeah. ridiculously fun. You know yeah. what? We'll do it again. We'll do it again a little bit later in the show, guys. All right. All right. All right. I think that was fun. You know, right. something different on the show. Yeah. This yeah. is, okay. you know. I think that was... That was actually... I think that was a perfect segue into a break. It was a Fuck perfect yeah. segue into a break. I totally, 110%... So in case you missed it, uh, some kind of radio show, one family feud this half hour. Yep. So uh, we'll uh, we'll be back next half hour with more jinx, high jinx, and other... More beer reviews. Stuff. Beer reviews. Yep. Maybe another beer review. Yeah, we'll, we'll be right Maybe. back. Bye. the FCC has given out over $2 million in fines to television networks for obscenity violations. That's right, but you know, the networks are complaining that they can't really tell themselves what is and what is not obscene. So we're going to figure it out this morning right here on Today Now. Joining us is FCC spokesman Samuel Leslie. Mr. Leslie, how do you at the FCC go about deciding exactly what can and cannot go on TV? The key word is context. There's no reason to fear a fine as long as your content has uh, artistic or factual merit. Such merit can be found in programming ranging from NBC's nightly news to CBS's sitcom How I Met Your Mother, starring Allison Hannigan. Well, could you give us an example of artistic merit? Well, if uh, Allison Hannigan were to take her top off during an uh, upcoming episode of How I Met Your Mother, that would not in and of itself uh, fall within the definition of obscenity. Well, now, how would that be any different from the infamous uh, wardrobe malfunction of Janet Jackson at the Super Bowl a few years ago? Well, what Miss Jackson did was a tacky, lewd publicity stunt. Uh, whereas I'm sure any person uh, can see the inherent artistic value in Allison Hannigan slowly peeling away layer after layer of clothing until her milky white bosom is in full view, obscured only by a few wisps of her auburn hair. That would be acceptable. It would be beautiful. Well, I understand you have some clips that we're going to show to help illustrate this. Yes. Now, in this scene, Allison's character, Lily, is trying to convince her boyfriend, Marshall, that they should be more adult. 
Now, if she were to tear her shirt off to show him how serious she is, that would not warrant a fine, since it would be consistent with her character. Or Allison could come into the room with her shirt already off. But what if Marshall were the one to take off his clothes? That could result in a fine of up to $500 million. You know, I could give uh, additional examples. Let's say that the producers of the tragically canceled Veronica Mars wanted to do a nude scene with their character Trina Eccles, played by Alison Hannigan. She could be pulling herself out of a pool to uh, reveal that she isn't wearing a suit. What do you say to people who say that the quality of television is headed south, Mr. Leslie? Uh, I think that there is some legitimacy to, uh, to that. And I would actually encourage more of the networks to be bringing in talented people, such as Alison Hannigan, into their programming. For example, for example, on uh, Allison Hannigan's IMDb page, uh, there's a credit for an unaired pilot called Me and the Boys, or there was a script that crossed my desk that featured a uh, beautiful female who falls in love with a governmental representative from the FCC. Uh, personally, I could envision someone with the talent and beauty of, say, Allison Hannigan. Uh, in the role of that female. There really should be more programming that features her talent. Mr. Leslie, thank you so much for your time this morning and clearing all this up for us. Thank you. Buffalo Wings and Buffalo Sabres, Beers and Brewers, Burgers, Brocks and Browns. Let us bring the sports bar to you with the Sports Brewing Company. Broadcasting live every Sunday, 9.30 p.m. to 11 p.m. from the Windsor Pub in Akron, Ohio. It's the best of sports and more. Featuring Brad Gurton and Rick Carpenter. And you can only find it right here on the SKO Radio Network. Are you ready to have your huevos turned into balls of fury? Are you ready to be right for once, no matter how many times she's told you you're wrong? Are you ready for the new concept in manliness? It's time to throw down your clubs. It's time to climb out of the caves. It's time to join the onslaught of masculinity. Tune in to the Manpocalypse with Mike and Aaron every Saturday night from 7 to 10 p.m. right here on the SKO Radio Network. Hit me, baby, one more time. You're listening to SKO Radio, but there is no fake news. Fact is, we don't have any news at all. Let's meet the Drozowski family. Norm, Beth, Jennifer, Frank, and Tom, ready for action. All right. Yeah. Playing against the whole trust family. Steve, Pam, Ed, Julie, and Mark, on your marks. Let's start the family feud. With the star of Family Feud, Ray Cohen. Thank you, thank you so much, and welcome to Family Feud. I'm Ray Combs, the new host of the show. Happy birthday, America. Let me say that first of all. It's a pleasure to be with you. Where today we're going to see two wonderful families battle it out for family honor on their way to $5,000 with a chance for $5,000. But I want you to know that I'm excited about being on CBS and hosting this show. I have uh, been studying all the great CBS shows. I think I'm prepared. So if you're ready, let's have the first item up for bids. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's the wrong show. Hold on. We're going to have a great time. Let's meet our first family, the Drostowski family. Yeah. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Well, thank you. Welcome to our show. Frank, who did you bring with you today? I've got my wife, Beth. Hi, Hi. Beth. My daughter, Jennifer. Hi. My father-in-law, Norm. Hi, Norm. And, and my brother, Tom. Hi. You're a great family. You look very sharp. Let's see who you're playing against. The Holt Trust family. Yeah. Hi, Ed. Let's just stand back to back for a second, Ed. Could we do that? Sure, why not? <laughs> All right. Who did you bring with you, Ed? My son, Steve. Hi, Steve. Another Hello. little fella. My son, Mark. Hi, Mark. My daughter, Julie. Hello. Hi. And my daughter, Pam. Hi. All right. Welcome. 
Now, could I ask, where, where's your wife? Well, she's 5'2", and so she's... She's still recovering from birth, from these two, probably. These <laughs> some big fellows. This is, this is unbelievable. You know, you guys were probably as big as me when you were conceived. That <laughs> night, you were probably as big as me. We welcome you to the show. Thank Good you. luck. One of you families is going to get the chance to play for $5,000, and there's only one way to do it, and that's play the feud. Let's go. Good luck. Good luck. You're listening to Some Kind of Radio Show here on the SKO Radio Network. Call now at 234-200-5110. Again, that's 234-200-5110. Now here's Earl McCune and the Crazy Crew. All right, we're back here on hour number two on some kind of radio show here on the SKO Radio Network. It's hard to believe that was only one hour. I know, that was a lot of fun. That was a fun first hour, too. Tons of fun. I know, and we got more fun, tons of fun to happen. When are the fat strippers getting here, guys? Uh, 9.15. 9.15, okay. There's some got fat about, dudes coming, right? Uh, yeah, well... We so, got you hooked up, don't Yeah, we? something right, like good. that. Yeah, we're going to have... Don't forget about me. Oh, uh, yeah, well, yeah, well, we got, um... Yeah, lots of stuff going on. Lots of stuff going on. Anyway, welcome back, everybody. Earl McCune along with Dylan Thompson, Mike Hay, What's up? Miss Liz, Tony the Comedy hey. Killer, and yep. Father John is on the phone with us. I'm ready whenever you are. You're ready? You want to go run and do it again? We want to All right. do, we wanna, <laughs> do we want to hold off? No, let's do it no, again. Right. Let's do it. Let's John do it. Sensel, you're next up on Seven Random Questions. Right. Come on down. Are right, you ready to play Seven Random there, John? I don't think he's ready. John. Johnny. Hang on. Yes, I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh. All right. Are right, you, you ready for seven random? Okay, here we go. All right, let's do this. All right. John, are you ready? I am ready. Go All right. Ahead. Dylan's going to play right. host this time. First question. How many feet are in 12 miles? Too damn many. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. The correct answer is, answer is 63,360. <laughs> Number two. Remember, Liz, uh, Liz won. Th- she got three right. She got, she got three. three right. You got to beat three to beat Liz. I don't think you're going to beat three, though, All John. Right. Number two. Think of a traditional Christmas song. You got it? Don't don't tell me what it is. Just do you got it? <laughs> got it. All right. Now think of another one. What is it? <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry. It was either Jingle Bells or Silver Bells. <laughs> <laughs> Jingle Bells was the first one I did think of. Ah, well, uh, that doesn't count. That had to be the man. second one. All right. Number three. Within four, the number of times we think John Sinsel has left his shit-stained underwear <laughs> on a doorknob. <laughs> Yeah, 25. Oh, I'm so sorry. Whoa. The correct answer is seven. Oh, we were, yeah, we were thinking. <laughs> yeah, John, you said 25. But is there, some, yeah. but is there something you want? But is there something you want to tell us? Personal hygiene, buddy. <laughs> Does that count? Dip too. Do you need? Oh, 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 that could add another 15 or 20 there. He's yeah, actually well, 365 right a year, right there. All right. Up. All right, number four. She's got badge tracks. Within two. <laughs> within two. Sorry, we, we, need to re, we need to regain composure in this studio. Those are the testing up. <laughs> and they have a proud state in the middle. The look, the look on Liz's face. Snail trail? Oh, my God. Oh, this is like its own trail. I don't know. The look on Liz's I, face. I is think priceless. when she queefs, it comes out brown. I don't know. What the you don't know what we women go through. That's all. Oh. All right, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Moving on for that. Number four. All right, what, what's what's Mr. Sinsel's score at right now? Zero. Zero. <laughs> Zero. No. He's got to he's got to go. He's got to run the gauntlet to tie Liz or beat to Liz. Beat Liz. You're not gonna beat me. You gotta run the gauntlet to beat All Liz. Right. Within two. I'm gonna beat John. The number of butt plugs Earl has admitted to having stored in his closet. <laughs> what? What? I'm so sorry. The correct answer is four. Four. Uh, four. John. Next question. You're, you're making this up. Now. Next question. Four. Geography. He's gonna, he's gonna run the gauntlet now. Are you are you ready, John? To this tie it. To tie. I think he's ready. To tie it. All right. Number four. 
What is the capital of Uzbekistan? <laughs> now that he's Google. Oh, boy. Come on, Johnny. <laughs> no Google. Uzbekistan. He's got time. I, I know that he has some music right. Um... Turn the music down this air, because I can't really <laughs> that's hear a, That's very difficult. Just guess at this point, man. As drawing a blank to eight. No, no, no. Take a guess. You got to take a guess. Creating a rectitis. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's that Dub's is, disease. That is incorrect. The correct answer is Tashkent. Yeah, that, that's, that's, Tashkent. That's, that's a family name uh, type of... Sounds like of, a disease. Yeah. That sounds like a disease, right. yeah. Number six. Every family knows that one. <laughs> Spell Liz Wigat's last name <laughs> backwards. Yeah. T A G E W Z. Oh, that's correct! Hey! hey, hey wow. Are you stalking me, John? <laughs> no, he, he went on your Facebook real quick. <laughs> no, I didn't know. I don't know. Wow. He's got one. He's got one. He's got one. All right. Number seven. Within 10 seconds, how long is Tony's porno? <laughs> Oh, no, I'm so sorry. The correct answer is four minutes and 44 seconds. Thank you very much for playing seven random questions here on some kind of radio show. We now return you to your regularly scheduled Oh, mayhem. my God. And mind you, that's only a highlight clip. <laughs> our current champion. No, it's just no, your back, though. That was the, that was the, uh, it's extend- just your back, though, right? That was yeah. the extended director's cut, Tony. <laughs> Hi, the highlight <laughs> clip is about eight seconds, so we'll we'll go ahead and give we'll go ahead and give John yeah, the we'll uh, give two. John, yeah, we'll give, yeah, we'll give John two. Okay. It's okay, Liz. You're we'll give so, John so two. Still we'll still play, I think everybody. we will play right, this thanks, again. Like, I think we play another round of this here. Yeah, we'll we'll uh, we'll throw the next newest guy under the bus. Yeah, Mike. Yeah, we'll, yeah. We'll, oh boy. Yeah, we'll, oh boy. Yeah, we'll oh, throw yeah. we'll throw Mike out of here. Yeah, well, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I think we should play a little bit of seven random for everybody the rest of the night. Well, like can it. I ask the questions for Mike? Yeah. Ooh, well, you yeah. got to come up with them. You got to come up with them. Yeah, yeah. you got to come up with them if you're going to ask them. Get your you phone out. Help me. Give her some, give her some flash card. Yeah. Give her some flash we'll, help, we'll help you, but yeah. you got to come up with them. So. Okay, Dilly. Okay. okay. See, this is going to be, this is getting good. This is getting good. See, this is where, this is fun game show night here, guys. Wait. Game show month here on some Just get her a pen. Let's recycle here. Come on. Yeah. And if you'd like to Join the program. We'd love to hear from you. Give us a call, 234-250-110. That is 234-250-110. You know, we'd like to throw this question out is, what is your favorite prices? I'm not prices, right? Uh, What is your favorite family feud host? Who is your favorite of all time? Ooh, That's a good question. Tony, what was yours? I mean, what would you say your favorite guy was? My favorite... I'll have I'll have to admit, uh, Ray Combs. Ray Combs was good. I, I liked Ray Combs. The, the only reason, you know, Richard Dawson was great and all. He he, yeah. he was probably the, had the longevity. Mm-hmm. Ray Combs always tried playing the straight the straight guy. Mm-hmm. You know, giving you that whole straight guy role, but yeah. then he and then he always you know would act like really surprised when you would give him. Yeah. You know, because he, he would throw in the bad joke every now and yeah. then too. You know, he he would throw the comedy killer jokes. Yeah. In. Yes, he would. Yes, he would. How about you? Did you, you ever watch much Family Feud? Dylan? Al Carn or Rich, Richard Carn? Yeah, Richard Carn. Yeah, thinking, thinking, you know. Yeah, Al Borland. Yeah. Oh, uh, you ever watch much of it, Liz? Family Feud? Not, yeah. not so much. Oh, not so come much. on. I'm sorry. I mean, yeah. the kind it was of on right before the Price is Right every. Violence, uh, kind of, you know? yeah. It was on right before the Price is Right. Yeah. Um, how, how about you, Mike? Al Borland. Or just because so, it, yeah, it so, was out. Yeah. yeah. How, how about you, John? Richard Dawson. Oh yeah, Richard uh-huh. Dawson. How about you? Yeah, Richard Dawson had two stints on that show. Right. Actually, he uh, he did it on the um, he was in the early '70s, early '80s one. Then he came back in like early uh, what was it late '90s? He came back, you know, for a short, very he short stint. Ninety four and ninety five. Yeah. yeah, he came back in ninety four and ninety five. I, I do have to point this out. How yeah. pathetic is it that we know trivia about a trivia show? That's pretty bad, isn't it? You know, I mean, uh-huh. yeah. But you know what? That's all. That's what this show is all about, guys. 
Oh, we're pathetic in the best way. We're here. To, we're here. To, we're going to drink more tonight. We are going to do more beer reviews throughout the night. We're going to play more games throughout the night. This is what we're going to do tonight. This is going to make this a fun night. We're playing seven random questions. Yay. We are going to play another round of Family Feud here in just a little while. Um, but uh, hey, he'll Jack. I'm picking a beer for it. Hey, I got a beer for you. You guys got a truck. Okay. Oh God, is it like the one that Malone sent us? Because if if no. so, you can keep it. Pine. No, 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 no. This is actually a good beer. No. Malone said this was a good beer too. So yeah. I like the pine better than that fucking banana growler shit. <laughs> <laughs> we, oh, perfect. We got to get Dylan to try it. Should I'll we? Get, should should, should we get it? Yeah. Should yeah. we do and this? Should film you know, and face. I'm gonna film it. Too. Film Dylan's face okay, trying yeah. this fucking banana sour shit. Yeah, Got we're it. Gonna, I'm we're, already feeling like I'm gonna throw up. Right now. All right. Well, here we go. We're gonna do a video. We're gonna do it on Facebook Live, and this is how we roll around here. We're you're you're, you're not exempt, Dylan. So. I'm not exempt. You're not exempt. That's fair. You are not exempt. That's fair. What does that even mean? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Can I just drink it out of that? No. You have to pour, you it, in a, you have to pour it in a cup you cause so you can actually it. see it. Now, will you go get me one of these? Yeah, yeah, go get me one of those. Let me get, let me get the video started here. All right. Uh, let's see. Dylan. Try. Going to try. The uh, bull semen looking. Don't don't put that on Facebook. Oh, it's why not? That, that might get views. Out, Here, I'll even uh, I'll be a nice guy. I'll pour it for you. Hold on, let me get that video. But I want you to nice watch it last. coming out of the bottle. All right. All right. Hold on, man. Let me get that video. Hold on. That's what she said. Exactly. No, let me get it on video. Well, let's get the live. Okay, we're going to start the live. Hold on. It's, it's watching my ugly mug for just a second. Hey, everybody. We're going to get it off of me. We're going to turn it around here. All right. My hey. keg has this stuff here. Now, this is going to be... Maybe it'll look better in the light. Maybe. In the maybe, dark, you mean. Maybe, maybe this is the lighting we're using tonight. Turn the light off. And... All right, you ready? Yeah, here you go. Right, Are I'm you ready. watching? Yeah, I feel yes, like everyone's watching. watching. Okay, here it goes. He's pouring beautiful it. Beautiful face contort. Into just that doesn't look that bad. Oh no! Oh, doesn't look, look, look that bad. Get a good look. Get a good look at swirling around the cup. That's yeah, terrible. Yeah, that doesn't look that bad. Oh, it looks. You should see it in white. It. It's got a. It's got a yellow. Yellow. <laughs> Don't smell it. Oh god! It, it was, it's got a putrid smell. It, mm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now here's right. the question: Is this really bull semen, or is it the banana beer? <laughs> we'll find out. It's got me banana puree with bull semen. Taste test. Taste test. Dylan is being a brave man and doing a taste test. Oh, he's trying to control that face. <laughs> he's trying to control he's his face. He's trying to control that face. You get a little bit of banana. A little bit. Sour. A little bit. It's sour. It's isn't a it? sour. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It, is, uh-huh. it is a sour. Fermented. It is horrible. Mm-hmm. You drink more of it than I can sample. Pour a little of your chocolate back in there. It might cover the taste. No. <laughs> no. It might. Ooh, that could be a, like an interesting. That could be a lot worse. That could be, a, but it could. That be could a, be a lot worse. But it's it not a, as bad as was described. Yeah. It, but you should see it in the light, dude. It's not as bad as everyone described. It, lo- it looks like um, bull semen. Yeah, it's not as bad as everyone described. I give it a two point no, nine. Yeah, he's God. rated. Yeah, that's higher than I rated it. We were not. We weren't even. I wasn't even above one. I gave yeah, it like. We a, didn't even hit a one. No, I gave it like zero point eight. You guys are just. Pussies. No, no, that no. Just go ahead. Maybe All Dylan right, likes bull semen. Awesome though, maybe, Dylan likes, maybe Dylan likes maybe Dylan likes bull semen. Yeah, you've been spending I mean, a lot of time in the field. That's more disgusting than yeah. pussies. That's, yeah. that's, that's really not that's that bad. No, not really. <gasps> Had a lot worse. What? In my day. What the fuck okay. hell else do you All right. drink? All right, wait a minute. He drinks directly from. I'd the rather tap. drink that than high life. Oh no! Wow. That, that's a bold statement, Cotton. Really? Wow. <laughs> High life is the worst. Here's next week's challenge. Bad, you bring me three beers that you think are worse than that. Ooh, yeah, that's, that's a challenge. Three. That's a challenge. All right. Three beers that you think are worse than that. And he's and Mike's got to drink them. Yep, I'll drink them. Now, has he got to just sip them, or has he got to drink them all down? Well, I had to drink that all down, so... I, I will at least drink half of each beer. Okay, that's a fair. Well, to be fair, I only had about that much of it, so... Right. 
I think that should be about fair. I'm willing, so. I'm willing to up the ante. All right. I'll, I'll do half of each. Okay. All right. Now what? Three no. beers that you think are worse than that. Okay. And if he um, does now if you do pull this challenge off, what, what now what's the stakes here? We got to yeah, we got to make this interesting. What's the stakes? We got to make this interesting. If I win, if if the beers I bring If you, I can't drink them, is that what you're saying? Well, you'll drink them. I know you'll drink them. Right. You'll hate them. <laughs> you'll hate them. It's alcohol. Come on. Right. So Dude, that's it. not fair. So how how do we judge who wins? Uh-huh. There's got to be a, a a reason here somehow. Yeah, I don't know. There's got to be something we can come up with. There's got to be a dare or a bet or something we can do. Hey, we'll figure if it the out. Bottom score of the three doesn't equal a ten. Then Mike's got to buy. Then Mike's got to buy beer for a uh, a month or something. Okay. If it doesn't, if the grand total of the three don't equal a ten. Then you, on then, the ratings, then no, well, these are these are the three worst that he can think of. Yeah, so exactly. If it doesn't equal a three, no, 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 I wouldn't no, say no. It, that's too low because you could go like a one point one. I'm not gonna. I'm I know, not gonna cheat. I know, but all right, why don't we do this? Why don't we do this? Because uh, I'll I'll be here for a little bit, probably late on the twenty third. Mm-hmm. Will you be here on the twenty third? Yeah. Okay. I'll make sure. So we'll do this. If the combined score does not equal a five, okay. wow, okay, that's bold. Bring me a six pack of beer and we'll split it. Fair enough. If the combined score does equal over a five, I'll bring a six pack of beer and we'll split it. Dragon's milk. I'm I'm good with that. Four pack of dragon. <laughs> there you I'm go. Good with there that. you go. Yeah. Either there way, you. we win. Either All way, right, it's so. a win win for you guys. So. Yeah, either way, we're dr- we're splitting. We're, the either pack. way, we're happy. <laughs> so. Either right. way, you're both having so, an so, enjoyable beverage. So the the quest is on. Mm-hmm. All right, and here, you know what? To seal the deal. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna. We'll, oh, dr- oh, we'll wait. drink on it. Wait a we'll minute. Drink oh, on drink it. The, oh. We'll drink on it. We'll drink on it. Oh, they're gonna drink the bull semen stuff together. We'll shoot it. Hello, Fred. Say we'll hello shoot Freddy. it like, hey, Freddy. <laughs> and they're going to drink the bull semen beer. Okay. Oh, my oh that's gosh. bad. Shots of semen. Oh. That's bad. Semen shots for everybody. That's I've never bad. shot a beer. That's rancid. <laughs> right? It's, it's clearly not, it's, fermented. It's not good. Shh. Shh. Just drink it. It'll make you feel better. It'll be over soon. Oh yeah. It'll make you oh, feel yeah. better. Oh, It'll make you feel oh, better. It's better. better. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy now. They've reached a happiness now. All right. Liz, how you doing over there? There's I'm all right. I'm scribbling some there. questions out. That's right. Right. How many you got going so yeah. far? Here? I got like Damn. three left. She got three left. Okay, so we'll do this in the next half hour. Sorry. That's fine. We'll okay. do it. Yeah, well, it, when we come back from the 930 break, we'll play another round of seven random questions. Okay. These, these questions will be for Mike. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And right now, Liz is just winning. Liz is winning, yeah. Liz is winning right now. She's got the high score of four. It's, ki- it's kind of unfair Three. Three. that the winning person is picking my question. I know, isn't that but, great? Yeah, I but, mean, you might get some of these right now. But, you could, but you, could, you could kick ass and take names and hurt people. You could be cheating right now and watching everything. I'm, I'm totally writing not. Down I'm, I'm drinking rancid beer and making beer bets. It is fucking rancid. Thank oh, you. God. Andrew, Andrew says good show tonight, guys. I, Oh, thanks, Andrew. Thank you, Andrew. We appreciate it. What makes it. it so great? What? Is, I said, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was a deep question. Deb ain't here. Deep, deep question. Oh. Deb's not here, so it's a great show, guys. Are you drunk? What? Who are you talking to? You. Me, why? The caption on this video, Dylan's <laughs> Gouda, the bull semen looking beer. <laughs> It's actually banana. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I love it. Okay. Dylan's Guna. Dylan's Guna. Did Deb write it? <laughs> no, you did. Oh shit. Been around her too much. Uh, yes. I guess. Maybe the cranial rectitis is. I know. I, I know. I had to proof her. I didn't know I had to right, proof you right. now. All right, we got to do something about this. What's the next beer that we have to review? Because yeah. God, I got it. Is no. there another one? Yeah, we're gonna. There's re- got to be something. There's more to old review. Fizzy wig. There's more. Yeah, we're gonna review old fizzy wig after after the uh, seven random questions segment next show. Okay. Yeah, next half hour. Yeah. Well, I need something to 
God, kill that taste. <laughs> Come on, Mike. Tell us how you really feel hot taste. <laughs> oh. You know what, guys? I'm going to talk about something really exciting here for just a minute. This is actually kind of really exciting. You know, some kind of radio show is approaching 200 episodes. Yeah. And uh, we will be doing a... Uh, we, eh, we might review that. Yeah, we might. Yeah. But uh, we are approaching 200 episodes. We'll actually hit the 200 episode mark on in January. Never the, a bad option. What, what, what did we say that date was? January the... Uh, what? Something like 11th? that. 11th? Yeah. Yeah, the 11th. January 11th. Or was it the 18th? 18th. No, it's... What the hell? Now you got me all screwed up. Great. All right, I'm going to look. Bitch. I'm going to look. look. Okay, because we are having a six... Hour, some kind of radio Wait, show. Where's our Damn. events? Whoa. Six and I'm. Oh, don't pour that. Just drink it. Like I have, man. I have it. The eleventh. I've got to clean out. January my the eleventh. Oh, six hours going to be on from six p.m. to midnight that night. Yeah, we've invited blasts from the past. I've invited every former member of this show to partake. Wow. She's invited. Okay. Yeah, I invited everybody. Actually, I got one. I have to reach out to yet. Okay. Um, our our mutual buddy. The one I replaced. Yes. She. Yeah, I invited her. Invited her. She's interested. Mm-hmm. All right. Yep. I haven't, I haven't seen her since I replaced her. Yeah. She's uh, she's interested in coming on Thought for that show. Thought you replaced show. me, and then I came back. Yeah. <laughs> he replaced me because I was gone, and then I came back. And, and then you're just you're there still. I'm yeah. still here. But uh, yeah, we're we've invited. Uh, How dare I? <laughs> lots of former members of the show. Um, you know, current, former, and we'll do a lot of best of stuff that night, and uh, we're gonna have some fun. And uh, we're going to play some blasts from the past clips going on that night. Uh, some of them will be edited for content due to uh, just, well, we did it somewhere else. So we're just going to yeah, get some content out. But the, the, the stuff that we did was so funny, it's just priceless if we don't share it, you know. Um, but uh, we're, we're going to do a blast of the past, six, a special 200th episode, six hours long that night. No movie salute. It's just going to be a look back, and uh, we'll talk to uh, several members of our show throughout the years, and uh, we're just going to have a lot of fun. We're going to have a lot of fun that night. So that would be cool. Mark your calendars, January 11th, 6 p.m. to midnight. What do you think, John? That's going to be a fun one. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Six hours. My God, our, our tongues will be dragging. It's- well, that's what I said. We'll, we'll, we'll host, we'll, like, we'll do some... Uh... Dude, we're going to have to like get a full bar in here for that night. Oh, we'll, we'll have a full bar in here that yeah. night. Yeah, we're going to have to get a, like, like a full bar in here for that night. Mm-hmm. We'll, we'll set up the little mini bar going, yeah. and uh, yeah, anyone who gets too drunk, they can crash in the office. I mean, that's... <laughs> yeah. I'll bring the crystal skull. There you go. All right. Yeah. There we now go. we're talking. Now we're talking some oh, good stuff. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So and I'll see if our I'll see if our comedy friend Pete, if his brother's got some good cigars. Okay. Remember what we had the last yeah. show? The oh, last the show yeah. 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 We gotta bring out the cigars. We gotta bring out yeah, the cigar. Holiday weekend, by the yeah. way. Yeah. Oh, the holiday weekend. MLK weekend, isn't yep. it? Yep. Yep. That's all right. Farmers of King weekend. Yeah. That's all right. That's quite all right. <laughs> but yeah, we'll, we'll bring out the cigars. Yeah. We'll. Um, yeah, we'll have some fun. We did yeah. that during the uh, last show at the old place. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we had a lot of fun that night. That was a lot of fun. So we'll do a show kind of like how we did that one, just a lot of fun. And uh, a look back at over, you know, 200 shows, over four different incarnations. And we'll play a lot of the stupidest stuff, some of the best stuff. The highlights? Yeah. Highlights. 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 That's really incredible. Do yeah. some weather shows. reports. 200 and you think it would be more over like the years, but you, 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 I was still you know, like Deb and I were talking about it the other day. She goes, "How are we only at 200? We started a show in 2012." I said, "Well, we only did a few when we first started." Yeah. And then we would, we weren't a weekly thing when we started. We were like a once every other week thing, and then we were like once a month for a while, and then we. And, became, you, and you got to remember, we were not made a no well, May of last year through well, the beginning of this year. When, when, when I when I switched from blog talk radio to doing a youtube podcast yeah um you I, never did uh, spreaker did you no no we never did spreaker yeah i wasn't i no, didn't we think never so. did spreaker um no we did uh we did we did strictly as a youtube podcast and uh we did about eh, about 30 35 shows there actually no we did i'm gonna correct myself we did 44 between okay. the first two incarnations then we actually were off the. We didn't do a show from the final one we did on YouTube until the first one at the old place. Yeah, we were, we were off the air nine months. Okay, 
Um, and then we came back, and then we did uh, 75, maybe, I don't know, 80 um, shows over there. Yeah, cause that, maybe 90. You know? That was a year and a half total, I think, there. Yeah, 90-some shows there, 95. It could have been over 90 shows. Yeah. And then with the other 50, then, you know, 60 or so we did, then you got the other... Almost but you, 50 no, you, guys, here. you guys did almost two years there. Yeah, we did over two years there. Yeah, because yeah. I because I was a yeah. year and a half with you there. Right. Yeah. We did over two years there. So between all the shows combined, this one will make two hundred between all the early ones and then now. You know? Yeah. So yeah. So I mean, on average, we'd do fifty a year. You know, because yeah. we always took a couple weeks off throughout yeah. the year. Um, so yeah, I mean, we're 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 approaching a year here. You know. But uh, are we still live on Facebook? Are and has we, he been yeah. pointing this at me the entire yeah, we've been, time? I've been looking at you, Mike. <laughs> we've, people are watching you pick your nose and scratch your balls and all that stuff. But, but yeah, it's going to be fun. So, yeah, 200 episodes coming up here, and uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. So, but yeah. uh, and the other thing, too, Earl. Yeah. Will, will any of our former guests that we've had on here. <laughs> I'm, reaching out to, I'm reaching out to former guests, former uh, members of the team. Um, anyone that's ever really been on the program, I'm I'm reaching out and saying, hey guys, we're doing a big two hundred show. Come on out for that one. So, let's uh, take a break, shall we? Okay, yeah, let's do that. Like one is All right, big. listen to some kind of radio show here on the SKO Radio Network. We'll be right back. It's true that I fart, but I wouldn't call myself a farter. I'm a social farter. I really only do it when I'm out with my friends that fart. We hang out, we drink, we dance, just have some fun being together. Farting. Sometimes I'll use farting as an excuse to meet a guy. Do you want to go outside for a fart? We talk, we fart, just because I fart at parties now and then, it doesn't make me a farter. Being a small business owner can be the challenge of a lifetime. To worry about every little aspect of growing your business is no easy task. Paramount to these is reaching and growing your customer base. That's where we here at the SKO Radio Network can help. With an ever-broadening local, national, and international audience, we can come up with an advertising plan that's right for you and your reach. Easy and affordable rates are available. You can bring your own ad, or we can produce your ad for you right here in-house. Give us a call at 234-706-5857. That number again is 234-706-5857. Or drop us a line at office at skoradio.com. SKO Radio Advertising. The only thing easier is listening. In the beginning, Pat created Ham Radio Heaven. But somehow it just wasn't enough. Listeners wanted more. So they went back to the drawing board, hoping to create that perfect show. Something is going to happen. What? What's going to happen? Something wonderful. Join Dale and I for Radioactive as we discuss technology and life in the world around us. That's Radioactive, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Saturdays here on SKL. Hi folks, Handy Randy. Some kind of radio. Every Tuesday night, 6 o'clock, we take your themes. First off, we need you to go to yesterday and today's classics, music, chat, trivia, and games, and join that Facebook site. Once you do that, then watch for 
the themes and the requests. Tuesday night, 6 until 10, classic rock and roll. Promise will knock your socks off. This is Harry Jack Bob, and you're listening to the new Some Kind of Radio Show here on the SKO Radio Network. Now with 100% more itchy bows. Today on Family Feud, from Northridge, California, meet the Don't Try to Spell Me, Guillaume family. From Pittsburgh, Massachusetts, they're bursting with energy and packed with power. It's the Dower family. You're about to see these two teams battle it out for $10,000 in cash. Because it's time to play the Family Feud. Thank you. Welcome to the Family Feud. It's the Guillaume family. Wow, that's a weird name, isn't it? <laughs> we'll get to that later in the Dower family. But right now, let's play the feud. Come on. <laughs> Welcome. All right, good luck. We surveyed 100 people. Top seven answers on the board. You've got to try to find that most popular answer. Name something which might not exist but people believe in anyway. Michelle. Ghosts. Ghosts. Mm. Do you believe in them? My kids do. <laughs> Show me ghosts. <laughs> There's uh, two answers that can beat that, otherwise they're going to play. I'm going to say Santa Claus. Santa Claus. <laughs> Santa. I always have to play Santa. All right, show me Santa Claus. You're listening to Some Kind of Radio Show here on the SKO Radio Network. Call now at 234-200-5110. Again, that's 234-200-5110. Now here's Earl McCune and the crazy crew. All right, we're back. Uh... What are you doing? Fixing this microphone. Play with it. Don't talk to it. Yeah, well. Actually, don't, don't play with it. Just talk to it. That's the idea I'm trying to make. What are you doing? Fix it. <coughs> what's wrong with it? It's, I see what's wrong with it. You see what's wrong with it, too. But why is it wrong with I it? don't uh, know. What did you do? I don't know. I don't pull, know if I just now noticed well, it. Pull it out. Pull it out. Pull it out. Pull it out. Make sure everything's okay. Here, let me do All right. that. All Earl's, right. Yeah. Earl's going to be quiet for a second because he's... He broke his microphone. He's, he's playing with it. you got to unplug it. Yeah. All right, there you go. Hey. There we go. Hey. All right, now don't drop it. Just don't drop the soap. Make sure everything's okay. Yeah. Hi, Liz. Hi. Hi. Where's uh, where's Marky Mark? <laughs> is draining his lizard. Oh, he's draining his lizard. Are you the funky bunch? Who's the funky bunch? I think. <laughs> aren't we all the funky bunch? Yeah. Uh, Earl. Crazy girl. Speaking. Did you just talk into a microphone that's not plugged in, Earl? No, I just talked into it. You just talked oh. into a microphone that's not plugged yeah. in. No, he... Did it again. Do we do it? What the hell happened? Oh, he broke it. He, he broke everything. Do you, do you want help? No. Okay. I hope he didn't break it. That's like his dedicated microphone. I know, right? He's breaking his own shit. That's the most used one. Help. Breaking microphones and hearts. Uh oh. He leaves the heart breaking to me. No, he breaks the heart every time he goes home. <laughs> His own. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh my God. Don't be I feel like so that. guilty for laughing. Don't be like that. Well, you know. You oh, I do what I can. I do love. Oh, I love you, Deb. I do what I can, and those I like twice. Do you okay. have your seven random questions ready? I do. All right, oh, right. We're just well, waiting for Marky Mark to get mm -hmm. back. Mikey Mike. Yep. You could be Mikey Mike. Yeah, Mikey Mike. Mikey Mike. Mikey Mike and the Frosty Bunch. <laughs> Mikey Mike. It's pretty cold outside. His boobies are probably freezing. Got his high beams on. Hey, your high beams are on, dude. Mikey Mike, your high beams are on. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. All right. 
we we have approached that uh, that wonderful time, that bewitching hour of. Guess what time it is again? What time? It's time for seven random questions. Ah! Put me on the spot. Mm-hmm. Hosted by Liz this time. Yes. All right, Mike. Which Ghostbusters movie was the best one? The first one. No. It the was second no. one from 1989. No. Absolutely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> wrong. And <laughs> wrong. The first wrong. one. No, the there first you go. one had Zool. And come wrong. on. Wrong. The first one was the best one. Second okay. Wrong. Wrong. That's an unfair wrong. question, but all right. All right, fine, yeah, it's talking to your mic. It's kind of objective. Talking to your mic, Mike. Talking to your mic, Mike. I am. Talk on, Mike. 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 It's right here. Lift, um, it up. Mike, Mike. lift it up. Lift it up. Mike, there we Mike. go. There you go. Right? Yeah, actually, you All can right. hear you now. What do we got? All there right. you go. What are marshmallows made out of? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Sugar. Yes. And gelatin. Sh- what? Gelatin. Yes. Oh, there's more? There's two more things. Oh, shit. <laughs> Is this half a point? Is yeah, this, ha- is, this uh, is half, half a point. A- oh, this we actually point. have half points. You want to try to get the full point there? Hang on, I'm working. Um, All right. He's working. Um, yeah, I got no fucking clue. Oh, come on, dude. He got two. Flour? I don't know. H- no. H2O. I'm going to give you a hint. H2O. H2O. Water. I yeah, okay, water. Mean, but... And then one more thing. I got nothing. Know. All right, cornstarch. Ah, uh, so you got three got, quarters of a point. I got yeah, three quarters of a point. All right. Wow. Which song is played most in movies? <laughs> wow. He's like, wow. <laughs> he's like, holy <laughs> shit, he's a fucking real question. Yeah. He's like, wait a minute, I was expecting bullshit stuff. Yeah, I was no, like, I'm getting oh, like man, a real quiz. Yeah, right? Right? She's, breaking yeah, she's killing real. me here. Yeah. Um, can, I, can I steal? <laughs> oh, you want to you try, Dilly? I, I, I think you should get your Pass. own questions. Can I steal? Right. You know what? Yeah, Mike, come Mike, on, Dilly. Here's the thing. Mike should create questions for Dylan. All right. All right. I'm going to steal, though. Which okay. song is played most in movies? Um, and then we got to give Tony questions, too. Yeah. Yeah. God, I got nothing. I'm going to... Is this the 20th Century Pass. Fox theme? No. <clears throat> but good guess. Spirit in the Sky. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. I you're, never guess that. You've got, you've got I, like I've a... I've got a half a point. You're three quarters. Like, three quarters of a point. <sighs> Mike, Mike, Mike. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, Mike, Mike. Don't apologize. What Ghostbusters was... Ghostbusters 1 you, is you, fucked it, up. You're, I not, mean, you're not good. You, you, you stink. The Ghostbusters 1 was fucked up. Come on now. All right. All right. It was fucked Anyway, up. go ahead. What was Mickey Mouse's first word? <laughs> The sad part is, I think I know this. <gasps> if, but you, if you know it, I'll be impressed. Because they might be giants made a song about it. Come on. I believe in you, Mike. You believe, we believe in you, Mike. You. We believe in you. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Just one question. I don't know. I don't Dude, know. hot dogs. Really? Yeah, really. Google it. All right. Google it. She told you. <laughs> Google, Google it. Google it. God, she's Use like... Google. And she's still winning right now. Oh, she's yeah. killing Which is kind of sad. And she only got three. I think these are the hardest questions yeah, of the night, though. Yeah, yeah these are the hardest ones. That you, you she got. was like, you know, I'm going to take Mike to the cleaners here. I think the next four might be kind of easy. I don't know. Is Gremlins a Christmas movie or a Halloween movie? Totally a Christmas movie. You are right! Yay! Hey, hey, ding, ding, you ding, got 1.75. Wow. Right. right. All right. Mike, in the movie Her, what actor falls in love with his artificial intelligence? In the movie Her? Yeah. I have no clue. I've never oh, seen shit. that movie. Shit, Walking Phoenix. Never seen that movie. Oh I my got god, no it's yeah. a great movie. You're supposed I to know these wa- things. I'll watch it. Do you like science fiction? I do. All right, check it out. All right, all right. All right. Yeah, check it out. All right, she said, out. yeah. <laughs> check it out. <laughs> watch it. Check it out. Check it out. What, 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 what's it all about? We'll work it out. Let's oh, turn God. this motherfucking party out. <laughs> all right. How long is the average flaccid penis? <laughs> oh, well, let's see. <laughs> well, let me measure Everyone my start penis. measuring now. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's like, I can't measure my flaccid. Well, hold on, man. We gotta restart the music. 
<laughs> this is actually the longest segment of this so far. <laughs> Here's the thing. Do I want to be... Do I want to be... <laughs> you want to be right? Pardon the pun, but do I want to be cocky? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Or... Oh, okay. <laughs> Flaccid. 0. 0.72. <laughs> <laughs> that to the 90. Man, a lot of disappointed ladies out there. I'm going to give it a no. beer review. Here's a no. <laughs> <I'm gonna> go <laughs> 3.8. No. Oh, close. Actually, very close. 3.61 inches. Very, very close. I, I want to give that to him. I'm going to give it to him. All right. Yeah. I'm close gonna, enough. I'm two and a half points. All right. Last question. Last you question. need this to take the if, lead. If I get this one, I take the lead. Let's go. Oh, my God. All right. And you're married, so you might know this. Oh, shit. <laughs> How many bras does the average woman own? <laughs> average. <laughs> average. Oh, shit. Think about it. It's is, this right. with, is this a within so many? <clears throat> Um, yes. Yes. yes Do I have a range that I can? Yeah, like work a range, like cause... like a range, yeah. Like within, like okay, well, like four. within three. Three. Within three. No, not four. Damn, that's a lot of poor ass women. <laughs> I know a lot of poor ass women. I'm sorry. Twelve. No, that's too high. Four is too low. Twelve is too high. Eight. Yes. Hey, hey wow. Mike took the lead. Right, wait, 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 wait. I won't give myself the lead. I'll give myself a half a point. So we're tied. <gasps> we're tied. Yeah. What a gentleman. Okay, are you the average woman? Are you the average woman? No, I am not the average woman. Above or below? With a bra ownership, yeah. Tony? <laughs> God damn it, I don't know. Maybe <laughs> fucking eight, nine, I don't know. She's counting on her fingers right now. I own <laughs> four good bras. I own zero Let's bras. Thank you very much. Okay. Well. I don't know well. either, you know. Good. I My nip is free, eh. both of them. Here's the oh. bad thing. How many really cock rings is Zillow own? One. Ooh, one? Here's the Dilly's bad thing. has got a cock ring? Yeah, he lost it at the bowling alley the one day. We found it. What was it? Three. In the urinal? <laughs> Three of them, actually. Thank you very little. Here's the bad thing, Three though. Three That question. Thank you very little. Married or not, I would have no, no clue because I just don't pay attention yeah. to that shit. You don't? No. You don't pay attention to the kind of bras your wife wears? My focus has always been on how quickly I can take them off. Oh, well, that's... Yeah. Can you want oh, Keep that music going, man. I oh, you, like the, you want more music? music? Yeah, keep that more music, music. That's good. Do, yeah. you, do you not listen to my show background. on Saturdays? That's we good. had a whole episode That's where we talked music. about when that I was is. eight years old. I de a girl with one hand. de <laughs> de <De-brawled. laughs> I think, I think, yeah. I think this is a good story <laughs> time. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Um, this is story time. All right. Yeah, no, story no. time. Hey, wait a minute. Do we want to do a beer review? Beer review. Let's do a beer review. Beer review? I got, I got, grab the old Fezzy wig. I got, I got music for the beer review. I have beer review music. You guys ready for beer review music? We're gonna do. We have beer review music. Oh yeah, old Fezziwig. Oh, here's beer review music. Uh, look to the right. Beer review music. Old Fezziwig. What do you think hey, of this? Can you grab yeah. me the orange can uh, rock star in there? Thank you. All right, beer review music, guys. We are in beer review uh, number uh, two of the night. Thank you. Officially. Beer review number two. Are you a rock star, Tony? Green onions. I can't be. Does it? Green onions? <laughs> I, I, I never told you the story, did I? You, no. you, you want that for beer review music? Do you, you remember, do you remember uh, a video series that used to be called Girls Gone Wild? Yes, unfortunately I do. All right. I was, at a, I was at a bar that was in downtown Akron at the time. Oh. And, uh, the, you know, the bus would uh, travel around from, like, college town to college town to record the girls. Okay. And uh, mm-hmm. happened to be up in front, you know, at the bar. And this would be the night the guy that owned the company that he had gotten uh, alleged that he had raped some girl. Because he, he would bring girls on the, uh, Good story. On the bus. <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, they'd be Don't back. Don't spit your beer. Kind of doing, you know, <laughs> doing, the, doing the solo thing. This is what you then, want for beer review music? Well, when he... When he rocks oh, yeah, one go. of the sponsors, and when okay. he would bring them on, he'd load them up with Rockstar to try to sober them up. They uh-huh. were well. The chick that got on the bus that night uh-huh. was like 16. What yeah. were we reviewing? Well, here? she's out of a bar, so you know, obviously, the guy couldn't get sued because it's assumed she's of age because you met her in a we're bar. We're reviewing old Fezzi. So I'm trying to pay attention to him. Uh, respect for the dude that didn't go yeah. 
if I happened to be on there, I happened to be on it for the night, he would let guys come on and watch what was going on. I'm sure he did. So, come on, and, you know, we got a, you know, like a little first, you know, first-hand view of it. And then hey, I, I spelled this correctly, by the way. Trouble, and I'm like, like yeah. shit, that was like, he was out a front of Vegas. A lot of those chicks were underage, and he drugged them. Yeah, well, and uh, I got this he's been spelled to correctly, too. I, so I put another beer in the bar review. buying booze for everybody. Last time I drank, you know, I'm sorry, me. Hey guys. To be honest with you, I mean, uh, like, it, I'm glad you enjoy it, but I can't handle it. All right. This this doesn't have carbonation. I this. Oh. I, I don't like drinking anything with carbonation. I think this. Earl's all trying right. to be serious. Oh, yeah. thank you. All right, we're doing a beer review. We're 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 on brew review of sure. number two of the night. We're give, doing... give it the old introduction. There's a little bit left in there. All right. This is the old Fezziwig Ooh. ale from Sam Adams. Ah. Uh, Spicy and bold. This is uh all all you know ale brewed with cinnamon, ginger, and orange peel. Mm. 5.9% alcohol by volume, 25 IBUs. Cinnamon, ginger, and orange. Yes, yeah, cinnamon, Not ginger, it. and Trust orange. Trust me. Could be really good. Trust me. It's, it's, this is a good one. I've had the... the I have not had the 2018 we had two years vintage. Ago. We, we, had had two years. we had it two years ago. I Did we have it last it. year? No. Okay, we had it two years ago. Two years ago. <laughs> last year we were on... Uh, Nothing. No, we we were on uh, we Great were on Lakes. Lakes. Yeah, we were on Great Lakes. We, we, had, Great we, Lakes a lot Great, we yeah. had a lot of Great Lakes last yeah. year. Yeah. This right. year, this year we're probably going it back. Smells really, really good. It All smells right. good, but I'm not really getting any of that on the nose. Yeah. All right, let's give it a taste here, guys. Oh. Everyone, give us a sample. Huh? Oh. oh my God. Oh, that's delicious. I'm happy. Wow. Isn't that delicious? I'm happy. Yeah. Yep, Fred. We're still we're we're doing beer and games tonight. Oh my God! We should play uh, play more Family Feud. It's we should. It's ten. Yeah. We'll do that at the ten o'clock hour, guys. We'll play more right. Family Feud. Oh, this is so good. Oh my God, it's just so good. Yeah, it's good. Isn't that good? Yeah, there's only two of these. In the yeah, yep. it's, it's it's in the uh, oh, it's in the uh, twelve pack that uh, they offer. It's a variety mm, pack. Spicy and bold. Okay, let's uh, start scoring here, guys. Nine point four. 9.4. That's bold. Wow. That's yeah. bold. Wow. I love old Fezziwig. That, that oh. requires an extra sip. Hang on. I love old Fezziwig. It is it is a sm it is a smooth beer. It hits your tongue well. It gives you a good feeling as it goes down. <laughs> mm-hmm. It is a great all around beer. 9.4. 9.4. Don't at me. All right, Mike Hag, <laughs> Let's go to you for your score. <laughs> Sorry, her snort threw me off. Yeah. Yeah, I don't expect anyone else to be that high, but I will not disagree. That is a really good beer, but it is the best Christmas beer around. Oh yeah, I, oh, it's one of the best ones. It, Absolutely, I'm gonna go with one of the best. I have my favorite, and I'll bring it in okay. in December. But okay. uh, I can't hit a nine. But I'm gonna go 8.9. 8.9. That's fair. All right. That is a nine. There's well, a wait nine till Christmas there. time. You know, I'm get, I am getting the um, the advent. The advent. Yeah. The calendar of beers from, nice. from Costco. Oh yeah. We'll we'll have some beers to review that month, guys. <laughs> yes. All right. Let's move on to Miss Liz. I'd say this is a solid 9.1. Wow. wow. This is a great nice pair of scored. All right. It's, it's a great, great. It's a great score. Professional. I'm very smooth. Uh, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be right around uh, 8.9 for myself, uh, guys. Pussy. No, no. I won't, I won't give a nine. You I'm and gonna, I are always pretty damn close. Yeah. 8.9. Great, great is score. that your impression that's of a, pussy? That's his bad flap on are the you wind. Having a are you a virgin? <laughs> No, that's, I think Dilly's a virgin. No, that's his, va- that's his vag flapping in the wind. Yeah, no, I, mine. Like. I think he's having a It's just like all nice and loose. That's like doves. Except yeah. there's shit flying out of it. Five all nice and later. loose. That's like shit flying out of it, though. That's the problem with doves. How many you got? She, all? she is Deb Yeti. Four? She is Deb Yeti. How many you got? Four? I have four. Yeah. So Deb Deb Deb. Earl, If Earl had a vag, it would be going like that yeah. in the wind. Deb Yeti. Oh, you so laugh. Like that's a, the truth. It's like a windsock. Oh, that's right. It's like a win- <laughs> That's right. A wind sock for my windy cock. That's right. <laughs> that's right. That's a wind cock, guys. What do you think of that? Yeah. Uh, who's got to come up with questions, X? Who, who's the next? Somebody's um, got to do them for Tony. Yeah, okay. yeah so- someone's got to do them for Tony. Someone's got to do them for me. Oh, I'll do them for Dilly. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> so who's, fucking who, thrilled. Is it gonna be more of that actual trivia, or is it gonna be like? You wanted to be fake shit. Yeah, I wanted to Absolutely. be fake shit, like, like how opinions? I made. We wanted to be like how I made it. Yeah, we she were, ate me pretty fucking hard. Yeah. Bullshit trivia is the best way Bullshit. to go. Give me a pen. <sighs> oh, give him a pen. All right, you, got, then, you got enough? You got enough cards there? I don't know. Yeah, you, there's, there's more than enough. Plenty there. Yeah. There's more than enough. All right. All right. So we got me. We got. Tony and we got Earl that still needs to go tonight. All right, yeah, yeah Earl's gonna need to go. Uh, yeah, I need to go. I, guys, <laughs> I, need, I need to go, guys. I just, you know, I, I, no one's gonna ask me questions. I just gotta go. I, just gotta, I, I can, yeah. I can, I can answer questions from the bathroom as I go. Yeah. I, I mean, how's that? That'd be amazing. I, I'm gifted like that. How about that? Multi talented. I'm multi talented. I can do many things from the bathroom, not just. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say, not just synchronized. Hey, wait a minute. Now, now, wait a minute. That's a talent on this show. You know that. It is a talent on this show. Yes. It's called talent. Get some. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I've been wanting to get some for a long time, but guess what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Deb goes, denied. Well, here's the thing. You're, Hi, Christina. Well, here's the thing. Let me, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. All right, tell me that. If you tell me, if you ever had to give the woman a credit card test, what does no. that mean? You don't. You don't. You don't know what the credit card test is? No, I don't. Please okay. enlighten me. What it is is it's a two finger test. You, you take it, and go, and you go. Welcome to the SKO Radio Network. You can find us online at skoradio.com. We're also on the TuneIn app, where you can listen with your mobile devices on the Google Play and Apple Store. Find us on social media at facebook.com forward slash SKO Radio Network. You're tuned to the SKO Radio Network and online at skoradio.com. <laughs> nice to you, Jilly. It's a hostile work environment. He needs a safe place. Oh. Do you need a safe place, I'll, I'll be calling our lawyer in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Very fine. Do you need a safe and he'll thing? laugh at me. He will laugh at you. He'll he say, will laugh at He'll me. say you have a badge. Yes, he will. 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 Yeah. He'll say, you why are we in? I don't know. What the fuck? Are you carrying America? This is getting creepy. We don't accept that. Stalkerish. <laughs> Do you accept American <laughs> Express? No, fuck you. <laughs> hey, Dale hey, says hi to us. Oh, hi, Dale. Dale, you should, uh, Dale, you should come down here snort. sometime, buddy. Yeah. Miss you. Anyway, that, that anyway. awkward silence just kind of kicked in. Yeah. Earl, do yeah. you accept American Express? No, I do not. <laughs> I only accept American success. Earl, Earl uses his uh, Amex when he buys his butt plugs. He now has five. Uh, pl- I don't do butt plugs, you fucker. That's not what you told me. I get them for Deb. I stuff them in her ass. Oh. You know why? Because she's got the worst fucking gas I've ever smelled on a female in my life. Huh? Does she get good mileage? I that was the dog. <laughs> no, it ain't the dog. Does she get at least 17 miles of the gallon? No, she's got about 12, 12 and a half. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, Maybe yeah. time to retire. I it was 10. Time to retire. Maybe yeah. time to retire. Time to up, upgrade, upgrade to a flex fuel. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though. These fuel them both. The, the, <laughs> the true statement is I started putting flex fuel in my car. Yeah. It is cheaper. Yeah. It is better for the oil life. Mm hmm. I only get about 17 miles to the gallon, though. Yeah, you don't do as well. With regular gas, you get about I get about 24. <coughs> yeah. So yeah, that's, that's the problem with it. Yeah, uh, flex fuel, uh, it's cheaper, mm-hmm. but you have to refuel more often. Mm-hmm. But less oil changes. The beer is tasty, by the, the way. The beer is indeed the beer, tasty. Very, very tasty. Very yummy. Yeah. Very yummy stuff. Let's, uh, let's, let's take a break. Let's take a break. What? Yeah, it's that time. Yeah, yeah. It, it has been o'clock. two it's hours. It's 10 o'clock. Just lazy. It right. has been two hours. All right, we'll be right back. Some kind of radio show on, some, on the SKO Radio Network. Stick around. Stick or around. Don't. I really don't care. Yeah. <laughs> just, just Wait, actually, please stick around. <laughs> I mean, if I live and break it off. Because if we lose listeners, I lose my job. Yeah. <gasps> hey, you know what? We have 10 minutes. There's time to stick it in. Be right back. Stay down. Stick it in.
Hey, thanks for listening to the SKO Radio Network. We're online at skoradio.com and on the TuneIn app. In a little bit, Julia Murray is going to join us. She's the author of the new diet book, Shit Yourself Thin. Have you seen the pictures of her? She <laughs> looks great. That woman Fabulous. has shit off so much weight. It's oh unbelievable. My God. Well, listen, first up, it's been a landmark week for women and science. That's right. After over 120 years of research, Cosmopolitan's officially cataloged every possible way a woman can please her man. Wow, that is quite amazing. Joining us now is Cosmopolitan's lead Moan Zone researcher, Dr. Rachel Steinberg. Dr. Steinberg, congratulations. Thanks, Tracy. We've accurately mapped every super hot sex zone on the male human body, empirically proven to make your man's legs turn to jello. Here's a peek into Cosmo's Man Pleasing Institute. We had to rigorously test every nerve ending for potential sizzle-inducing properties. Tell us about some of the early discoveries of the project. In the early 1920s, we discovered a previously unknown pleasure point located a little bit above the buttocks on the lower back. That was a huge find. Mm. In fact, it opened up over 200 completely new ways to give men pleasure. Unbelievable. It must feel great to know that your research is uh, helping so many people around the world as well. Well, Cosmos Research Center was founded to make sure that men everywhere get the most sexual pleasure humanly possible in their lifetime. And I think now that goal is finally attainable. That is Amazing. terrific, terrific news. Certainly, Dr. Steinberg, your work does not stop here. What is next? Maybe the, uh, the sensual pleasures of women or something like that. <laughs> no? No? Not getter. fertile ground uh, to Come use on. a bad word? Okay. You are listening to the SKO Radio Network. Erica, name something people bury in the backyard for the win. I'm going to say people bury uh, placenta, you know, so that they get the rose bushes and stuff. I've seen it on movies. They get the rose bushes. I'm telling you. I'm sure. You taking baby dolls out in the backyard and burying placenta. How the hell did you come from the hospital with your placenta in a bag and take it out in the backyard because you want some roses? You ain't seen that on no movie. I ain't never heard of nothing so country in my life. I can't believe y'all said this on TV. Delivering a baby. Ma'am, no. ma'am, where you from? Georgia? Do you want this? They take it in your backyard. They delivered a baby at the house. They delivered a baby at the house. Yeah. How far in the country do y'all live? They don't do that no more. They got hospitals. Back in the day. Back in the day. In the day. They asked this question to 100 people last week. <laughs> Maybe it was a hundred people from Why Georgia. Why are you arguing with the host? I needed to be on the board. I need, I want, I hope if this on the board, right, if this placenta is on this board right here, I'm, I will give you my placenta. <laughs> One hundred men fill in the blank. Every girl I meet tells me I'm what? Smelly. <laughs> you don't know where that came from, do you? You actually smell As soon as you were yeah. smelly, he just went, oh yeah. God. <laughs> Sm smelly. Yo. Come on, man. Sexy. Sexy. Name 
something that follows the word pork? You pine. Huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> you pine. Pork you pine. That's my tank! Yes! Luna tank! Pork. He said, Cupine. <laughs> Cupine. <laughs> what? What is Cupine? <laughs> The greatest answer I've ever heard. You can answer. You can No, I feel you. No, I feel you. Number one. I feel you. It's number one. Oh, my mama. Oh, pow. <laughs> <laughs> it's number one. Oh, really? <laughs> well, I tell you what. It's going to be number one on YouTube, but. <laughs> It ain't gonna be no water. I can bet every dollar I got. You the only person that said coupon. After a good first date, the girl plans her wedding. What does the guy do? Nathaniel. Plans his funeral. Plans his funeral. <laughs> well. Well. That happened one time. Yeah. <laughs> well. You sure sound happily married. It's okay, he didn't, it's just... It wasn't her. He, he ain't talking about you, he was talking about... <laughs> Plans his funeral! <laughs> Something a burglar would not want to see when he breaks into a house. Rob! Naked grandma! Naked, huh? <laughs> I know you're right, okay? Uh, nobody wants to see a naked grandma. But what are the chances of you breaking in the house and running up into your grandmama naked? Just looking for a naked grandmama in the house, outside, in the woods, on the blanket. It's That's the occupant person that's there. You're listening to Some Kind of Radio Show here on the SKO Radio Network. Call now at 234-200-5110. Again, that's 234-200-5110. Now here's her naked grandma and the crazy crew. And the naked grandma, Dylan Thompson. Oh. <laughs> naked Grandma! Tony, Naked Grandma! Traumatic. Is it time? Is it time for what? Is it time? It's always time. For seven more random questions? Is it time for seven more? It ra- is. Seven more random questions, guys. Seven who, more random questions. Who is ready? You guys Posted ready? by Comedy Killer, by you're up. Oh. Yeah, you're up, Tony. Uh oh. All right, seven more random seven, questions. Seven more random questions. All right. All righty. Are we ready? We are. Question number one. Okay. How many times has Liz snorted tonight? Oh. I'm going to go with my lucky number of four. Oh. So sorry. Eight. Eight. (laughs) Okay. She got eight. (laughs) Didn't feel a thing, but she got eight. Number two. What proof is Jack Daniels? 80 proof. Very good. He's got one. Ding, ding. You got to remember, Jack Daniels is my favorite booze. Hey, I just gave you something. (laughs) Based on sales, which is better, Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Coke, he got two. Wow, he's up to two. Where does Dylan go to cry? (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> Marie showed her. Oh! oh. Fuck. The closet. The closet. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dylan likes to go in the closet and cry. What, Two out of four. What number am I thinking of? 69. No. Oh. 13. Okay. <laughs> who is, according to three different polls, who is the most popular wrestler of all time? The most popular wrestler of all time. I'm going to have to guess uh, Austin 316. Correct. Holy shit, he got oh, it. That's a good one. So he's, he's what, what's the score I'm now? Three three. He, he's got three. Okay. Three. So he's tied it's with the tie Liz. This is the uh, tiebreaker. What is the strongest animal on the planet? The strongest animal on the planet. Now, I, Deb? You, you, <laughs> you've got to take a lot into consideration oh, here. I, I'm going to say the ants. No. Oh. The dung beetle. The dung beetle. The, the dung, dung beetle. beetle. I knew it was an insect. Because, Not only uh, is it the strongest insect, but it's the strongest animal. Okay, yeah. So we got a three-way tie. We got a three-way tie. I like three ways. <laughs> I hope to God it's two women and not two, another I'm, dude. Yeah. I'm really not interested in the current three-way. I'm yeah. just saying. <laughs> that's, that's, said, yeah. that, that's part two is porno. <laughs> who, okay, who's got to come up with questions for next for who? Well, Tony has to come up with questions Tony for and Dylan. Mi- at Tony this point. and Sinsel have to come up with questions yep. for you and I. All right, John, you got, John <laughs> while you're there, Tony. think of seven questions for us here throughout the night for, uh, for, for either, Earl. For, for me. Okay. All right. All right. Tony? Yeah. You're up. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Pass them around. All right. Pen. Oh. oh. Where the fuck? Oh, I got it. All right. Seven random questions. Uh, this, is, this is a new game we're going to be doing every week on this show. Maybe not as much, but we'll do it a couple, you know, we we'll, might do it a couple times a night and uh, going forward here on the, uh, the program going forward. This is a lot of fun. This is just a lot of fun. This is something different. This has been a really fun show tonight. This has been a really, really fun show tonight. This is this has been a show that's mm-hmm. been a lot of Liz like. Mm-hmm. It's one of my favorites so far. It's one of her favorites. Yeah. She's been on three, but it's, <laughs> but this is it. This is her Four third five. time. This, this is what this is in her top five shows. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> I'm, I'm approaching like 100. And She's nine. had to put up sitting next to me the entire night. I know. I feel sorry for yeah. her. Thank you. <laughs> Well, you know, Tony hasn't said yeah a million times tonight, yeah, so thank yeah. you for oh, that. <laughs> you know what? That's a good question. You know, on, on the one program, how many yas did he actually say? I mean, that's a good oh question. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to look that up now because I know Tony's going to ask it. <laughs> I don't know if it's actually – I think you have, to go into my, you have to go into the station YouTube and look at it. I'll have to dig. Yeah, you'll have to dig because it's not in the uh, – It's not public. It's not public because it's not on the uh, – that was at the old place. We don't have those videos public. I, think I, I don't think Tony knows the number, we, though. We, we got a call here coming in, guys. Let's take Ooh. it. We have a call. Long distance. Mm. Some kind of radio show? You're on the air? Who do we have? Oh, my. Airwolf! Oh, my. Oh, my. Hey. Hey, Adam, we got to get Adam in the game. We gotta yeah, get, we got to get, get Adam in the game. game. Yeah, we're playing. We're, we brought back seven random questions, okay? I heard that. Okay, and what we're doing is we're all... We're going to do it like maybe twice a night going forward, but this is just kind of a break it in type of thing. We're all doing it. We're all taking part tonight. We're beating the fuck out of it. We're, we're the, going ape shit. But, but we're having fun with it tonight. So we're all taking turns uh, asking questions, and uh, we're all getting to play host for a minute. And, uh, we do currently it. have a three-way tie. It's a three-way tie at three out of seven. As the, we don't have a champion. We don't have a leading champion right now. So we're trying to decide who's going to be the winner. Yeah, we're trying to find, we're trying to find the, the answer. Now, the, the random questions is it's any random que- It could be anything. It could be bullshit trivia. It could be a legitimate real question. And uh, whoever gets the most out of seven is going to be the winner tonight. Right now, we have a three-way tie between Mike, Liz, and Tony. Ooh. Oh my! Oh my! Oh yep. my! Indeed. Oh my! Are we? Uh... Are we moving on to uh, family, family feud? feud? Yeah, we're gonna play family feud. Adam, you ready to play family feud with us? Sure. All right, we're all gonna Sweet. play. Fa- all right, I'll, I'll play host again. Okay. Unless you want to, you want to host? You no, you told me no. Okay. I didn't tell you no. You no, you host? offered, and then you rescinded your offer. Okay, wow. fine. Wow. Okay, we're give her. Earl and I are feuding. Okay, we'll play family feud. Earl and I are feuding. Ah. <laughs> uh, we're, we're gonna play gonna, family what's feud. What's your we're family? Gonna, and we'll. 
You know, we'll do the. We'll do. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll do Whoa. the. Okay, we'll uh, <laughs> we'll do this. Okay, let's play. Let's fam- play the family feud. Yes, let's play it again. All right, game number two. Wait, can they hear this? Yes. Can can they? Can hear you guys this hear this? Out? Okay. No, can they hear this going out? I can hear it on air. Yeah. yeah. But they couldn't hear it when the Beach Boys were on. No. <laughs> no, because I, I was trying nice. to turn that off. We were then we wouldn't have to wait sun down. Because I, cause I have that on. That's super cute, Billy. Really. Yes, we're gonna play the Family Feud. Game yeah. number two of the night. Round one, guys. We surveyed 100 people. The top seven answers are on the board. Here's the question. Name a sign that your television is over 40 years old. Let's start with Dylan Thompson. It's got tubes. Tubes. It has tubes. All right. Survey says. Survey says. No. Wow. What? It wasn't on there. Okay. Uh, Let's go to Liz. I'd say knobs. Knobs. Mm-hmm. Survey says. Survey says. Like, At number two. Like knobs. All right. Let's go back to my case. Knobs, silly. What's been said so far? Okay. So for tubes, tubes and, and knobs. knobs. Tubes wasn't on the board. Name a sign that your television is over 40 years old. Antenna. Good answer. Yeah. Antenna. Is it on the board? Survey Sur- says. No. Oh. Oh. Denied. Wow. wow. <laughs> Tony. Black and white. That's a good one. Hmm. Doesn't work. work. Black and white. Survey says. Number one answer. Let's go to Airwolf Adam. Is it made of wood? Ooh, good answer. Okay, let's see. Survey says here. Survey says. It's on the board. All right, John Sensel. It's heavy. Good answer there. <laughs> Hell, the one I gave you 10 years or a year ago is heavy. Survey says. It's oh. Uh, oh, let's see what. Like three. Let's see how we did here. Let's take a look at what you missed. Let's see number three. Number three. No remote. Let's see number Fair. four. That makes sense. Doesn't work. Let's see oh, number I said five. That. that doesn't. Small screen. Let's see number six. Fuzzy picture. Uh, Let's see how you did. Okay, the average score is 48. We got 59. We're ahead of the game. All We're right, doing good. good. We're, We're doing good. good. We're ahead. Let's play some more feud. Who's up next first? It'll be Mike Egg, right? Me. Sure. All right, let's go to Mike Egg. We surveyed uh, 100 Mike. people. The top six answers are on the board. Here's the question. Name a reason why someone's voice might sound funny. Laryngitis. <laughs> Sick. Sick, laryngitis, whatever. Just, just put sick, Earl. Laryngitis, Earl. All right, survey, survey said. Survey says. Number one answer. All right, move on to Miss Liz. Oh, man. Uh, helium. Helium. <laughs> survey says. Oh! Wow. Oh! All right, Tony the comic killer. Come on, Tony. They're deaf. I don't know. What's That's the... oh, not wow. What are we talking about, Survey guys? says... We are playing Family Feud. Family Feud? Yeah, I'll do it. My name's Scott Schottenheimer. I'm <gasps> here for the Family Feud. Hi, Scott. Join us. All right. What's up, Liz? How you doing? Hey, baby. All right. Uh, name a reason why someone's voice might not might sound funny. Uh, smoker. What'd you say? I'm sorry. Uh, Hang on, Scott. Scott. Survey says. No. Not there. Let's go. Let's go to Sky. Okay, since you're calling in, name a reason why someone's voice might sound funny. And a pipe. A pipe. A pipe? Yeah, because that it sounds like I'm talking into a pipe right now, and my voice sounds funny. All right. All right. Survey says. No. All right. Let, all right. That's the third strike. Let's strike three. Too bad. All right. Let's see how let's we're doing. Look at what you missed. Let's see number three. Puberty. Let's Whoa. see number four. Oh, 
Drunk. <laughs> number five. Did you say a stage in life where uh, <laughs> my voice number six. might sound funny? It's just a reason why your voice might sound funny. Accent and just woke up is the other two answer. Healing was the number one answer. We're still ahead of the game. We got another round here, guys. What? Yeah, Stan Lane's got time for round about, three. Oh, I gotta wait. Yeah. Yes, yeah, stay, stay. All right, we'll, values are doubled. We surveyed. It'll be a John and Airwolf Adam the first. Top five or, answers are on the board. Or Airwolf Adam and the John. Question. Name something toy dolls do that makes them seem like a real baby. <laughs> Go ahead, John. They cry. Oh, Adam, yeah, cry. All right, survey says. says. That's yeah, number one answer. All right, John Sensel. You guys are echoing. Did he? Uh, he said he cried, right? Yes. Yeah. Down to ten seconds, John. Are there other people? Wait, are there? Are there yes, oh, Scott. Um, uh, cry. That's already been answered. <laughs> Five seconds. John. There's other people on the phone, Scott. Yeah, Scott. There's like three people on the line. Ooh, too much time. All right, moving on. <laughs> Dylan Thompson uh, closes its eyes. Survey says. says. That's on the board. All right, yeah, Liz. Yeah. Um, I want to say wets itself. Well, that's a good it? one. Is that so? Survey says. Number two answer. Uh -huh. Tony the Comedy Killer. Okay. Name something toy dolls do that makes them seem like a real baby. Uh, let's see here. Makes them seem like a real baby. Mm hmm. Got 10 seconds. Uh, tch, tch. You already got wets itself, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, down to five. Uh, it eats. Got it in. Survey says. Nope. Not there. All right. Let's move on to uh, Scott on the phone. Yeah. Name something a toy doll does that makes them seem like a real baby. I don't know if he's on the line. Did he hang up? Might have. Scott, did you hang up with the fog? Survey says. I only answered poops. Oh. Yeah, well, I had to do something. All right, let's see how we did, guys. Three, too bad. Let's take a look at what you missed. Let's see number three. Let's see number four. Let's see how you did. You missed them. Yeah, I know. We're oh, still way ahead. Yeah, we're ahead. We're, ahead. we're doing good. good. Work. You're ahead. Round four. Point values are triple. Point values are triple, guys. We surveyed 100 people. The top four answers people. are on the board. Top four answers on the board. For Scott. Here's the question. Name a good present to give a werewolf. So uh -huh. Flea collar. Flea collar? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good. All right, let's Survey see. Survey says. Ah. Oh. All right. Let's move on to Airwolf Adam. What was the question? Name a good present to give a werewolf. A toothbrush. <laughs> toothbrush. Let's see how it's on. Let's see if it's on the board. It's got to be on the board. Says? No. Oh, wow. All right, John Sensel. Repeat the question, please. Name a good present to give a werewolf. Hairbrush? Is that already said? No. Hairbrush. Hair. Oh, hair. All right. I'm submitting it now. We'll see what we got. Survey says. That's hey, all for that one. It, all right. Came up as a razor when I put hairbrush in, so there we go. Uh, Liz? Liz? Hmm. Oh, what's the thing that you can give a werewolf? Yeah. Yeah. Ten seconds. Like a silver bullet? <laughs> wow. That's <laughs> <Yeah>. fucked. <laughs> Oh, fuck werewolves, man. Okay, well, here we Somebody go. Says? Eh. Oh, All right, let's, let's see how we're doing like here. Three, too bad. Too let's bad. take a look at what you missed. Let's take a look at what let's you missed. Let's see number one. A human. Let's see number three. Uh, a human? A brush or a comb. Let's That's what I put it for a brush. What the fuck? 
Breath mint. Well, what's yeah. the final score? You go on to fast That's a good present to give Deb. Good work. You're ahead. We're ahead. It's fast. Fast money. Who's right. playing fast two money? To get 200 points I'll play. All right. All right, Liz, and then we'll, come back we'll, we'll do Tony. You'll have All right. 50 seconds. Clock, please. Okay, name a reason why someone might throw away a pair of pants. Holes. All right. Name something you can fill a balloon with. Helium. Okay. Name something people drink beer out of. Glass. Okay. Name someone you'd hate to show up late at your wedding. Sister-in-law. Mm -hmm. All right. And the final one. Name something police dogs do that a police officer would get in trouble for doing. Sniffing butts. Just a guess. All right. Let's see how we did. Let's see how you did. We asked this question. All right. Name a reason why someone might throw away a pair of pants. You answered holes. 45. Good. Nice. We asked you... Name something you can fill a balloon with. You answered helium. 24. Ah. Not too bad. We asked this question. Bad. Name something people drink beer out of. You answered glass. 21. All right. We Not asked much you. Shabby. <laughs> Name someone you'd hate to show up later at your wedding. You answered sister-in-law. 17. Ooh, all right. You're at 107 points. We asked this question. Name something police dogs can do that a police officer would get in trouble for doing. You guys are sniffing a butt. 31. Oh, all right. fuck you're, yeah. You're 138. All right. Give me 55 seconds on the clock. All right. Okay. All right. Tony, same questions. Okay. Name a reason why someone might throw away a pair of pants. Uh, they poop themselves. Yeah. Name something you can fill a balloon with. Water. <laughs> there you go. Name something people drink beer out of. Bottle. Name something you'd hate to sh have, name someone you'd hate to have show up late for your wedding. Priest. Where's the bride? And if I got that answer, try again. Oops. We won't allow it. Oh, we won't allow it? No. Groom. <laughs> Alright. Name something police dogs do, do that could get a police officer in trouble. Uh, peeing in public. All right. All right. That's all. Let's we'll see how we did here. Did you beat Fast Money and get those 20,000 bonus points? Let's see. Let's find out. We asked this question. Name some. Name a reason why you, you said. Throw away a pair of pants. You said pooped. Zero. Oh. Uh, um. We asked you. Name something you fill a balloon yeah. with. You answered water. 19. All right. You're 157. We asked this question. Name something you people drink beer out of. You, you answered a bottle. Bottle, 38. You need five points, Tony. We asked you. Name someone you'd hate to show up late to your wedding. You answered groom. 37, you win. Oh, damn. Damn, damn. Tony, damn. Congratulations. You, you guys killed it. Good man. You guys killed it. 20,000 points. You won the car. You win the family feud. Again. You guys the top answers. You got it. Let's see, here's the number one answers that you guys answered. On the, you know, the first one was uh, yeah. torn pants. Yeah. Air was the number one answer on balloons. Okay. Name something people drink beer out of. Bottles was the number one answer, which Tony answered. Name someone you hit show up late for your wedding. Groom. Number one answer. And bite somebody. Is the number one answer on what a dog can do. Our game. Hurry on back and play the bite family somebody. feud. Yeah, think of a cop biting somebody. Yeah. All right. Well, that was our uh, next. That was our second game of Family Feud of the night. Take um, a break. Let's take a break, shall we, guys? Let's do this. All right. Let's, let's do, do this. Yeah. All right. You listen to some kind of radio show here on the SKO Radio Network. We'll be right back. <laughs> Yeah. 
shame, guilt, isolation, all feelings brought on by involuntary flatulence. But why? It's not my fault that I fought. My short flat nose makes me take in more air. That's all. And that means... Jasper! Oops! So please, don't be mad. I can't help it. Just like I can't help being wicked cute. Oh, Jasper! Honey, you'll spoil your- Hey, parents! Tired of those out-of-control kids? Throwing embarrassing tantrums wherever they go. At the grocery store, on the playground, even at the dinner table. You've had it with parenting, but wait, there is a solution. Introducing Nap Time, the latest, most effective tool for child tantrum prevention. It's simple. Just douse a rag with our patented Sleepy Time formula, place it over your child's cry hole, press and hold gently for 8 to 12 seconds, and presto, no more tantrum. I was beginning to think adoption was the only way out. Then a friend of mine introduced me to Nap Time. It's never been so quiet around here. The secret lies in Naptime's revolutionary fast-asleep formula. Developed by military-trained scientist doctors from NASA, Naptime's powerful molecules rush to the child's brain on contact, gently inducing instant tranquility. This is chloroform. Already put those wallet-draining crap factories out on the street? That's okay! Naptime works in any situation. On the golf course. An awkward blind date. I had a really good time tonight. It even works on pets! After we had our first child here, we regretted it almost immediately. We didn't know that she'd cry so much! <laughs> Talk about defective! But thanks to nap time, our little Samantha here hasn't made a noise in weeks! <laughs> I keep her in a shoebox! Call now and we'll send you your very own 24-ounce bottle of nap time solution for only 23 easy payments of $1.99. But wait, there's more! Act quickly and you'll also receive the all-new Dream Sack absolutely free! It's compact and portable for those on-the-go tantrums. Just cover it, tighten it, and forget about it. It's that simple! We can't breathe good! So if this looks familiar... I feel pregnant. Then don't wait! Order today and join the millions of Americans who just can't stop saying... Thanks, nap time. Thanks, nap time. Thanks, nap time. Nap time! This is Hugh Jack Bob, and you're listening to the new Some Kind of Radio Show here on the SKL Radio Network. Now with 100% more itchy bows. Point values are triple. We got the top four answers on the board, ladies. Here we go. Tell me another way people say mother. Mama. Mama. <laughs> Mommy. Mommy. Oh, Yolanda. Yolanda, tell me another way people say mother. Nanny. <laughs> Nanny! Yes. Uh. <laughs> Cecilia, name another way people say mother. How about Nana? <laughs> Nana! <laughs> Folks, you got two strikes. If it's there, you're still alive. But this time, if it's not there, Cameron's and family can steal and win the game. Sheila, tell me another way people say mother. What about Steve Nene? Yeah, you said. What, what did, Nana? She, didn't you say Nana? I did say and that, Steve, yes. Nana. Uh-huh. And I said Nana. Well, what is you what is you saying? Stop clapping. <laughs> what is you trying to say it in Spanish or something? <laughs> Steve. Now, 
It's the same it's word. It's the same it's, word. They're going to okay. spell it the same way. E-N-A-E-N-A. You just can't go changing the, the inflection. And and no, no can't okay. be your one. <laughs> I'm just for you, for you say no, no. Okay, okay, Sheila, tell me another way people say mother. What about mommy? Okay. Okay. Oh, mommy. Right. Not, not mommy. You want, you want mommy. Mommy. Right. Not mommy. Right. Oh. You got me? I see you. I feel you. That's hot. Okay, <laughs> okay now, let me ask y'all something. <laughs> y'all crazy. That y'all can take all these words that's the same <laughs> and just say them different because you want to. <laughs> Nanny? <laughs> Nana? <laughs> Nani? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay, okay, we got to go again. Okay. Tell me another way people say mother. What about mommy? Or we always say it all mommy. Yeah, cause that's yeah. See that's the see, like some like okay, like look at me, look at me. Y'all stop laughing at this. This I, listen to me. See what watch how I do this. Mommy. See that? Mommy. Now watch this here. Mommy. Okay. Well, hold up. Okay. Now watch this one. Mommy! <laughs> Here go another one. Mommy! Oh, mommy! something about now here. Right. Okay. Man, tell me another way people say mother. Okay, Steve. Nana. This shit can't be happening. Man. Listen to me. I get paid to host a show. Get too much shit here. <laughs> and to the kids up there, listen to me. We, we ain't gonna add this like this because you'll never be able to survive this at the school. We're gonna cut this down to one, maybe two nanas. <laughs> Two nanas and two mommies. We're gonna cut this back. <laughs> this here. Okay, Steve. I got this one. Nah, nah. That's <laughs> crazy. Na 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 Hey 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 Goodbye Na 
na na na hey na 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 hey goodbye. All right. All right. Now we done sung it too. Last time, this is strike eight. <laughs> This is it right here. Whatever you say, we're going to flip it over. All right, you ready, Sheila? Tell me another way people say, no, nah, just hell, just tell me another way you say mother, because. Well, Steve, I would say mom, but the answer mom is already up there. Right, well, let's, let's just flip that shit over. You're listening to Some Kind of Radio Show here on the SKO Radio Network. Call now at 234-200-5110. Again, that's 234-200-5110. Now here's Earl McCune and the crazy crew. And for those of you just joining us, Earl McCune, the food challenger, is back at it again. He has the meat mountain, and he is just about done with it he's got about two more bites left and no he just made it one bite he's got a little bit left in the box and he's gonna try and wash it down with a coke you can see all the action on facebook live some kind of radio show on facebook he is finishing off the crumbs the swallow and the time is four minutes even for earl the food challenger McCune. how you feel earl oh, fine you got another one no, I, I want to get it. I want to try to get done in under five. That was what I said. I said we'll do it in under five minutes. Four even, buddy. Four even. Tony, you want to say No, I'm good. Four even. Good job. Good. I didn't want to share. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Before you even welcome back here on some kind of radio show here on SKO Radio Network, Dylan Thompson alongside Earl McCune, the Food Challenger. Debbie the Yeti's in studio now. Uh, we've got. <laughs> oh, she's oh. gonna hit me! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> so Deb, did you shave those arms? We've got. <laughs> We've got uh, Liz and yeah. uh, Tony, the comedy killer, in the studio. We got to get you a nickname, Liz. What kind of nickname? Snort. I don't know. No, not snort. Snorf. Blinkers. Snorf is kind of cute. No. Snorf. Blinkers. I like snorf. I like snorf. Yeah. All right. All right. So. Well, we're ready for another uh, seven random questions. Another round of seven randoms here. Aren't we? Yeah, seven randoms. We need where's to make some. Where's fucking is it? Mike? He's uh, handling some... Uh, See, seeing a man about a dog and a uh, dog about a man and yeah. a horse about a cock. <laughs> all the, all Mom, that, if you're listening, you should, why are you one. still up? Yeah, all that in one. All right, let's... Uh, Seven let's, random questions. Tony, are you ready? To ask you? Ask you yes. Or? All right, yeah, yeah, I got mine ready finally. All right, he's ready. All right, here we go. Seven random questions again. All right, let me get my headphones on, get a microphone in front of my face. All righty. Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready whenever you're ready. Okay. How many years did Chevrolet produce the Cavalier? <laughs> I'll give you within about a two uh, a two range. Twenty two. Ding ding. Uh, Twenty four. Oh. Wow. One for one. One for one. Wow. Good one job. For one. Okay. How many varieties of Bushmill Bushmills Irish whiskey are there? This one you gotta you got you gotta be exact on this four. Er, ten. Oh, okay. Wow, oh, you missed a little bit. I don't. Okay. Here's a little here's a little local geography question for you. Local geography. Okay, we we know State Route 59 runs uh, from Ravenna to Akron. Right. State Route 261 also runs from Ravenna to Akron. Right. And little out, they crisscross several times. How many times do they crisscross? <laughs> That's a good question. I'm gonna go with uh, five. Uh, one too many, four. Oh, I was, oh, that was my gut instinct was four. So I but was right, Tony? No, wow. I thought you. I, I thought you. Had, I thought you had three. No, I okay, so yeah, you had four. So yeah, Deb was right. That was my gut instinct was four, but yeah. Because actually, they start and they stop this at at, uh, at almost the same point. Because mm -hmm. they start in Kent at 261 to 59 east, right? Uh, east of Kent State. <laughs> yep. And then uh, then they crisscross because you got to remember, Route 59 runs the length of Route 8 for a while yep. until it uh, jarts back off. So and uh, 
261 and 59, crisscross by Route 8 there. Yep. yep. And and again, down further down the road, mm-hmm. and finally where the inner belt ends, yep. 261 darts off a little way. So, yes. Okay. They have four times. For some it, reason, I was thinking one more at, uh, at the circle, but I, no. No. No, because Tom, it's 59 is not in the circle. Yeah. Okay. What size shoe do I wear? 13. Uh, again, you're one off, 12. Oh, okay. In Do case, I get that? You're a lot of one offs. Yeah, okay. Do I get it if I'm one off? No. Nope. No. Okay. That's shitty. Okay. If you're traveling from New York to Los Angeles on a direct route, <laughs> how, how many states would you would you visit counting the states you're in? Don't look. That ain't no fair. <laughs> he's, looking, he's looking at the damn. He's looking at the map. Yeah. yeah, you can't cheat that way. If you're traveling from New York City to Los Angeles, counting the states that you're going to be in on a direct route, how many states would you so go, be in or counting through? Counting California Ca- New and York. New York, yeah. All right, so it's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eleven. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, Suck my dick. <laughs> okay. So right now you're two for five. You, you got a chance to tie it up and possibly win here. Don't. Possibly win, yeah. According to the Jewish calendar, what year is it? Ah, mm. oh, you said this earlier. 5177. 5774. 5774. Well, you have a chance to tie. You have a chance to tie. And this is a possibility. Uh, what is the only TV slash radio station east of the Mississippi River to start with the letter K? Oh. Did you take Bob Long's broadcasting class? Yeah, and it's in Pittsburgh. Yes. Shit. It's an AM station. Well, AM and FM. AM and FM. It started in... And television. And and TV. Shit. No, No, that's... Shit. I don't know the call signs, but I know where it is. I mean, you've got two. You know, you, he, he doesn't know the call letter. I don't know the call signs, but... Because AM, FM, and TV all run on the same call letters. Hmm. I know it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, right you're, right now you're two for six. This, this could tie it and make Come it a four-way on, tie. Really? It'd be a fatal four-way. Come on. Throw on the white flag. We Throw the white flag. Can, can I answer it? Sure. KDKA. Sure. Ding, 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 there ding, ding. There it is. Yep. Yep. Bob, I'm sorry if you're listening. I just <laughs> talked to him a few, day, few days ago, as a matter of fact. I, I haven't talked to him in a while, but I, I asked him. I said, "I said, Bob, yeah, you, you were my broadcasting teacher twenty some odd years ago. When are you going to retire?" He's like, "Everybody just expects me to keep doing this till I keel over." Yeah, they they tried to make him retire. Yeah, my broadcasting teacher still runs the radio station. Mm-hmm. On His high broadcasting school. teacher right. was my broadcasting right. teacher. Yeah, and and he was broadcasting teacher like five years before I got in school, and I graduated in '92. Hmm. And when I told him yeah. what I had been doing the last several years, including here, he's like, you know, it got under your blood. And he's like, it'll always be in your blood. Yep. You... Was Dylan even born yet in 82? Nope. Nope. Hey, like, Not even I close. Of our new um, no, did you get what else we got going on now? What else? Oh, Quarter 11. I got some excited news because Liz hasn't seen him yet. Oh, Earl and I on, what was it, Wednesday? Wednesday went and got two newest family members for the house. Two. We have chocolate and milkshake. Oh my god. We cool. have two and a half, two two and a half month old ferrets. Yeah. <gasps> they Ferrets are, are absolutely adorable. adorable. They originally were named Salt and Pepper, but they got changed to Chocolate and Milkshake because one, the top parts, top part of them's white, the bottom part's all black. So he lo- they <laughs> said, he "You know how like bad those things can stink, right?" They've been uh, de uh, scented. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I so that was our exciting news this week. Aww. Do you have pictures, Deb? Yeah, I'll show they're you. Not, they're not in our house, fortunately. What? Yeah. Back to your regular schedule There's program. program. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we were having fun all night, then you showed up, Deb. <gasps> so mean. But you know, we will do the last hour. We'll play one more round of Family Feud. Let Deb play. Yeah, Welcome to yeah, Meat yeah, Mountain yeah. back up. Let's go. She's yeah. returning it. Yeah. Unless, hey, you know what, Deb? You know what? We should get Deb involved in seven random questions. Yeah. Oh, it's fun. We should do it. You know, we could. Ooh, ooh, ow. You hurt your gum. Hurt your tongue. Oh. oh you, you have one? You should get those taken out. You, you have wisdom? 
<laughs> so you have wisdom? If just... you find a ball that doesn't fit in your mouth, it is not your ball. Yeah. It's the left ball. Hmm. She ate the left ball. Ah. Left ball. Hit a left ball. Left, not right. <coughs> left, well, not right. Mike, here's what you missed. <laughs> you missed a lot, dude. Here's what you missed. He ate D- I ate him in four minutes flat. Um, on the dot. Dylan could not match the three score on Tony's questions. I could not. Oh. He got two. I got one of them, and I guessed it. Yeah, but you're not playing uh, unless you want to play. You know, here's, what, here's how you play, Deb. You want to get into the game? You should come up with some questions. So it's still a three-way tie, huh? Yeah, still a three-way tie at three. We got to defi- we got to find a winner. Who hasn't played yet? Well, I, I you have- and Earl, Adam, and Adam. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So we have three. We still got. We got an hour to get three games into this. In. So I hear. I hear. I hear, I hear echoing. <laughs> All right. Who? Deb, you want to ask Who's me? got their radio turned on? Oh, no one wants to admit to it now, Aww. huh? I'm double checking. It's not you. It's not me. No. It's someone on the phone. So who wants to who wants to play seven random? Who, who? I'll ask questions to Adam. All right, you got to write them. Out. You got to write them out. You got to write them out. Yeah. Yeah. You, you got to write them out. As soon as you I've finish. Already got- at, at, Adam's, Adam's at two questions. He's about ready to go at. John, John, you got yours ready to go? John. John. He fell asleep. John. You got a phone call, buddy. Yeah, I got yours ready to go. Or uh, and, All right. Let's take a quick call before the break here. All, All right. right. All right. Let's, uh, let's answer this. Hello, Jason. Hi, how you doing? Hey, how's it going, buddy? Jason. Hey. So, um, I invite... On your first live feed, before my, when the show begins, mm-hmm. I invite some people, plus I shared it on a couple of pages on the WMMM. Yeah, that, that one, yeah. Yep. Yeah. That one, okay. On, on um, What's Up Ohio page and on the FM page in the room. Um, we're the the were the top page and um um on the MMS page mm-hmm. um lady woman like the white seed mm-hmm. and I'm like well I'm gonna see if I have any mutual friends mm-hmm. uh, no mutual friends. Okay. I know she's from the theater, <coughs> but I'm like, oh, that that's someone you get a complete stranger like in your feed. That's great. That's a great thing. Yeah. Thank you. We appreciate it. That's awesome. I, mm-hmm. Yeah, I might want the friends that I know how they stay down or whatnot, but I'm hoping... People get turned on to your station by me posting it. And, oh, absolutely. And, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's it's like I told you before, man. Every little bit it helps, man. Word we, of mouth. We yeah. like turning people on. <laughs> what? Mike, Mike says he likes to turn people on. Like a oh, flashlight. Um, I am. Um, I saw you. Early bird morning video at mm-hmm. 6 a.m. Yep. And I didn't see it, but I just, I watched it. I'll just talk about the updating the studios again. Mm hmm. <laughs> Always updating. You guys are not playing around. No, we're not. You guys just don't bite more than the. <laughs> no, no, we, we 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 have a plan, and we're 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 sticking to the plan, and uh, we're we're right on track with with the plan we got right now. So it, it's all incremental steps that we're taking, and uh, this is just the the what we did. We 
we did a software upgrade to our system that was planned, and uh, we put that plan into place, and it's functioning fall flawlessly right now. So, that's well, wait, wait till you get that one device, because then you will be able to do you, um, Facebook and YouTube Live mm -hmm. simultaneously. I know. That's pretty then, cool. Yeah. Then, that... um, no, because you... And not everyone can watch Facebook. Why you have to have a Facebook account? Right. But from what I know, anyone oh, anyone can watch a YouTube can video. Watch. Yes, absolutely. Yes. The only thing they can't do if they have an account is they can't comment on the video. Right. Or right. Subscribe to a channel. Mm -hmm. Right. That's why I got you. YouTube account is mainly anymore is mm -hmm. just subscribe to the channels. Mm -hmm. those, those people make those YouTube videos. They're more entertaining than some of the TV channels. Mm -hmm. And I hope I hope you eventually get a Roku channel. Yeah, it's common. I mean, it's 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 common. I mean, it, 2019 is coming up, man. We got a lot on the on the plans, and that that's that's something that's coming, Jason. So. It, yeah, it'll happen. Stop. Just it's it'll probably after after sometime in 2019, but it'll happen. Got the a lot helium, planned, man. The helium balloon. I would love to be there. Just, you guys, <laughs> all those balloons up with the business art. Oh yeah, yeah. We I I love the idea. We're we're gonna we're gonna look at the what we actually have to do to do that so we don't get in trouble. But. Uh, Welcome to the SKO Radio Network. You can find us online at skoradio.com. We're also on the TuneIn app where you can listen with your mobile devices on the Google Play and Apple Store. Find us on social media at facebook.com forward slash SKO Radio Network. You're tuned to the SKO Radio Network and online at skoradio.com. <laughs> It's it's something we want to eventually do. Actually, you know, I mean, it's something you know. Right now, no, but in in the in the coming months and years ahead, yeah, we that's something we want to do. I mean, we want to definitely add additional stations to the network. You know, I mean, that's that was whole the whole idea of why we called it a network because we want to add stations to it. You know, that's I'd like to add a all talk station. I'd like to add a rock station. You know, I mean. There's a lot of stuff we can do. It just you know, it's just all of you know. We got to get the revenue coming in, and uh, yeah. you know, I, I you know, I can put some out of pocket, but you know, it's but you know, it's something we want to do. Well, I mean, it's just going to take time. There, like, there's a special thing up back further, but the like the Roku channel mm -hmm. or that one device I told you about. Oh, that's it's it's, it's, it, it's a huge those, thing. Yeah. Those will be near future things, but thing is, oh, absolutely. Cool is, I would love to see you in Rhode Island truck stop. Oh, I know. We talked about that. I, I gotta, I gotta see what we can do about that, Jason. I'm, I'm gonna try, but no promises. But we'll try. We'll at least try on our end and see what we can make happen. Yeah, sitting here doing the station. I'll be on the outside there. I was in the internet space and most time anymore was in you guys uh, ended in the FM space. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, you guys are doing, you guys are doing, you guys are doing good. I mean, uh, I mean, your host actually, one thing they actually, they actually come. Our host. They can't make it. What the, what, you can't. Yeah. If you can't make it to mm. tell us. Yeah, that's the thing. Our, our host, one thing with our host, Jason, and I'll say this, and I can speak for every host here, they all have passion. They all love doing what they're doing. They love being here. Mike, you can, you, you can speak for Absolutely. that. I mean, you're, um, you know, you're, you're new to radio, basically, but you yeah. know, you've told me how much you love just being here, you know, just... We, we make it fun here. I mean, that's that's the whole point. We make oh, it yeah. for sure. No and doubt. Liz, and Liz, you're new to this too. I, I, mean, I love this. We, we we make it fun for everybody. Tony's been with me here now since the old station, you know, three years. And uh, God, you know, I mean, I couldn't imagine doing this show without Tony. I mean, really, Tony's I mean, an OG. 
To- Tony is. Tony's the man. You know, but Tony's been with me for three years. Yeah. You know, I-, I couldn't imagine being here without Tony. You know, because to- Tony's a- Tony's like a staple here. I mean, Tony's Tony's not ever three going nowhere. Week. Three nights a week, he's here. I mean, that's just tells you how passionate he is about. It. He lo- t- t- tell us how much you love doing your radio stuff. I mean, I mean, it- it's funny because it's like I like to do my sports show Wednesday night because mine's all sports opinion. Yeah, I mean, I you know and. And it's just, you know, I get a lot of things off my chest. Friday night, we have fun. Yep. And then Sunday night, I'm here with, uh, you know, a good buddy of mine talking one other interest of mine, and that's mm-hmm. firearms. Yep. And you and you guys and you enjoy what you're doing. And yeah. I, and that's the whole thing. And uh, yeah. all our hosts here enjoy being well, here. Well, and they all got passion. And if they, there's just, it, let me finish this one thought, Jason. I'll let you keep talking for a minute. They all love being here. And if there's something coming up, they can't be here. We communicate that with each other. We communicate that to our listeners. Hey, you know, hey, something came up. We got a family emergency Absolutely. or whatever. Every, there ain't anybody here that's not willing to step up for the next guy. I mean, that, that's oh, yeah. the thing. Where Everybody's here that wants to help. And everyone wants to be a part of it. And whether it's this show or another show, or whatever, they all want to help out. So go ahead, Jason. We'll, we'll, then we'll. Uh... Yeah. Well, we'll play. Outside the, that, you can take multiple calls like the oh, most. God, that, the that was that was the uh, one of the first things that I said we wanted to do when we were getting Tony knows he was in the first meetings with yeah. us. You know, I said when when we're going to start this thing, I said I I want to be able to have a multi line phone system. I don't care what I have to get. You know, we started out with a Skype line, which was fine for the short term. Then we found this uh, this phone system we have now, and this thing. I wish I'd have had it from day one. Quite frankly, this thing is really good, and it works well. And what really impressed me was in the year that you guys are on the air. Oh yeah, we're 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 we're, we're approaching we're approaching one year. I mean, we're not even at a year. We're we we started streaming. We started streaming, doing test streams, December thirty first of last year. So basically, January first, we went on the air, just streaming music. We didn't run any shows. We were just streaming music. Yeah. I mean, we're we're eleven months in, you know, and we're 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 kicking I'm a, ass. I'm a, I'm a, I mean, you guys were able to do a live. Remote that blew oh, yeah. my mind. That was the other I thing. Live remote and then not only that, take phone call. Not mm-hmm. only that, I mean that that impresses me right there. Thank you. I mean you're able, able to take phone calls at the remote. And, uh, yeah, in real time. I mean not, not only that, top off you have been even uh Right, there were a- AMS and stations on one thing. Mm-hmm. Um, certain state stations on the way there were AMS and we beat them to the text line. Text. Wow, they cannot take text. Nope, we can. Uh, Listen, what? I'll I'll say this. I've only been here what maybe six months now. Yeah, I came on and a lot. You know, a lot of listeners might not know this. I came on as a photographer and mm-hmm. then kind of took on my own show, and I've been crashing your show for for a while. For a while. Yeah, now. you're 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 an honorary part of this show. Pretty much. Um, pretty much. You're you're a part of this show. There's no honor. You're our part of this show. And what I have seen yeah. in that six months, as far as growth, is mm-hmm. amazing. Yeah. And myself, every other show out there, nobody wants to skip their show. No. Everyone, you know, everyone want to wants show to be up here. And we all want to do our shows, and that's one of the things that sets us apart. Because I'll tell you what: on social media, the minute people find out you have a radio show, mm-hmm. every Tom, Dick, and Harry comes out of the woodwork oh, yeah. to talk to you about it. And mm-hmm. Amen. there's people out there that have shows that don't give a rat's ass. Yep, and that's not the case here. We all do. I mean, that's the thing. Everybody here. It, it, I mean, we have a great staff of people here. I mean, it's just. That's one thing we we wanted to surround ourselves here with good people, and that's what that was one of our when Dylan, Deb, and I sat down to discuss this thing. I said, you know what, I want to surround us with good people who have passion and enjoy just having a good time and talking on the radio and interacting with our callers, interacting with all our listeners. Just absolutely, just be yourself and enjoy yourself and just 
make it a part of your life, you know? Absolutely. You know, well, and, I, and that's what I, people I, here do. I, I just give between, take you guys, take them out the book calls. They're able to, able for the listeners to be able to text. Yep. The text. The text line is awesome. Yep. They're doing live remotes. Yep. All that within a year. Yep, within a year. And that's actually, and Jason, that's actually, we're actually six months ahead of the plan on that. We were actually going to start doing live remote stuff. The original plan we laid out was summer of 19. That was the earliest, but then we, some things just kind of fell in our lap. Right. And I'm like, well, shh. Geez, we could do this now. Let's do it. So we did. <laughs> then, then not only to top everything off from day one, before you even brought, before you even had shows, when you aired, you went on tuning. Yes, sir. You went on tuning immediately. You guys went on tuning. You guys are getting uh, um, hurt. I'm um, hurt. Um, uh, I know there's on the radio out with Oh yeah. Guys. And we're and we're adding more. We're gonna be and we're gonna be adding more of them too. I mean, there's I've I've yeah. looked at several of them, and we're gonna be adding several of them to the plan. So I mean, I want to give us as yeah. much outlet exposure as possible. So that's another thing coming up. We're gonna be adding more of those type of outlets where you can be heard on all their other sites too. So I mean, we're we're adding more. Yeah. Well, like, I think it was like, um, like, um, what, what's that, what's that, um, we watched a team as a kid, and at the end of the show, Hannibal goes, I love it when the plan, plan comes, comes together. together. The A team, yep. The A-team, I love it when a plan and, comes together. Yep, and, and it's. And then there's like the series. Yeah. The reimagines is Battlestar Galactica. Uh-huh. <laughs> the Cylons go, we have a plan. Mm-hmm. And um, when you have oh. a plan, That's a game exactly plan, when you guys have a game plan, you're one step ahead of, of, of it. The really well, that's... The that's, that's exactly it, Jason. You you hit the nail right on the head, my friend. Uh when we sat down and we discussed this, we, we, we had it's a it was it was a two sided plan. We had the business end plan and then we had the radio plan. Okay, so we had here's what we're gonna do on the business front. This is the plans we gonna do. I mean there's some stuff we're still waiting to fall into place, but we're but we have a lot of different pieces to the plan and we're continuing to work on those pieces, consistently working on those pieces. Now on the radio side same thing. Okay, here's what we want to do. Here's the equipment we want. Here's the software we want to start integrating. Okay, we're going to start doing this. And as we find out and you know, we see more, you know, we see stuff we can improve on, you know, with the equipment and the software, you know, we, we if, if we can get our hands on it, we're getting our hands on it and we're just doing it. I mean, it's just if we know it's going to be an upgrade for us and, you know, for the listeners and it gives everyone a better listening experience. That is what we aim to do here. We want to give everyone the the, the listener experience they deserve. I and mean, we, we want that high-quality FM sound. I mean, that's something we want from day one. And day one, we, didn't, we did not have that day one. Let's just face facts. Let's be honest. We didn't have that. We're getting there now. And we're, we're getting – we're actually, the sound is a hell of a lot better now. And uh, we've, we've worked hard on it. Well – when I started out two months ago, mm-hmm. and I said, you know what, I'm not, going to, I'm not getting paid by anyone, mm-hmm. but I'm going to do this for you guys. Well, we appreciate so it. I got, I got told by the K, the K neighborhood. Yep. The car- I, know, I know who you're talking about. Yep, yep. I know who you're yeah, talking about. But so what I did, uh, I said, you know what? I'm going to take a pair of group pages yep. and do it like every two weeks each. So yep. the, 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 uh, every week, the you're, you're get, you're, group pages. You're, yeah, you're getting, yeah. Wrote, I wrote, now, I don't know if for the past month and a half, 
Has that made the difference? In oh, abs- absolutely, it has. I, I, I mean, I, I told you that before. We've we've doubled our local listeners, and you know, we we got plans in place, and we want to increase that even more, and we're working on it. I mean, it's but it's 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 you know, it takes word of mouth, like what you're doing. It takes on our part to spread yeah. the word locally, which we're going to be doing here in a major way come January. We're going to uh, really start promoting locally. In January, that, that that we have a huge plan for that in place. So I mean, yeah, it, it, it it's it's a it, it it's a lot of work from a lot of people sharing sharing you know sharing it out there, getting it out there, um, and uh, yeah, it's just a lot of effort, you know. And everyone and what's great is Jason, you know, everyone that's been listening here, like you know, like yourself, they're 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 getting into it, they're involved, you know, and that's the thing I. I one thing, and like I tell our staff here, and like even our callers and our, our friends and so on and so forth, is like, hey, you know, everyone wants to get involved. Get involved. Now, let's all. It's, this is a community thing. You know, this Absolutely. is this is this is not just a me thing. This is not just a Debbie thing. This is not a Dylan thing. This is a Mike thing. This is a Tony thing. This isn't a Jason Kyer thing. This is a community, and this is what it is, and that's what it is. It's community. Yeah. Well, the I mean. When, when you go, when you start, the, when I know it's going to be a bit too to get that ads up where you can do mm-hmm. YouTube Live and Facebook Live, but when you start YouTube Live, watch people email in that YouTube video. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. To their friends that are not on Facebook, mm-hmm. Facebook, because... Then you will really get the word out. Oh yeah, no doubt. The people, the people that's probably not getting it are the email only people. Mm-hmm. And once the, you go on YouTube Live, mm-hmm. the people you, you could say, "Hey, um, I want to the email to all your friends that mm-hmm. don't that are not on Facebook." Right. And then what things really, really? Oh, and, that, and, and and you're right. And that's exactly what it is. It's, it's 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 people telling other people. You know, it's like that's why we like hey, we tell everybody, hey, let's try to do our best to put a good product out. We want we want the shows entertaining. You know, not every show's a hit. You know, let's just face right. facts. You know, we have duds. We have our we have our own duds every now and then on this program. Yeah. You know, and it happens. Yeah. And it, it it happens. But you know, it just but. Same. What's great is everyone that's getting excited and wanting to share the station and wanting to be a part of it in some way or another. Of whether hey, can I help you promote it? Yes, absolutely. Can I, can I help do something? And it, that's the thing. It's like yeah, absolutely. You know, you want to help make the station better. I'm open to like I'm always like with our staff and anybody. I say you know we have an open door policy here. You got a suggestion? Bring it to me. I am all ears. Right. And if it makes sense. By God, we'll try it. You know, if it doesn't make sense, we won't do it. And maybe it'll make sense later on. You know, I mean, we never just throw ideas away. I never throw ideas away. No, absolutely not. Because you know what? Those ideas, like you said, an idea that may not make sense tomorrow might make sense six weeks from now. Yep. And that's the thing. You know, you got to, you got to, it's like, you know, suggestions, yeah, keep them coming. Jason, I I, I appreciate every suggestion you give us. I mean, those things are, and they're all very helpful. I, I mean, the, I mean, what? I mean, once you get uh, uh, a- advertising on mm-hmm. that, I mean, the, you are starting something that's I mean, one thing is you made YouTube videos, mm-hmm. right? Yes, abs- do, absolutely, we do. You, yes, we you do. You know, you know how you do those tags when mm-hmm. you so. Sure do. So yep. often a certain category. Yep. When you do do to wives, you mm-hmm. know, you put the page like some kind of radio network, internet mm-hmm. radio. Right. Then so locals will find a page like Akron, mm-hmm. Ohio, or Ohio. Right. So when someone sites up Akron, Ohio, and they see something wild, they see some what's that? Mm-hmm. What is this? Exactly. And, You're right. You're right. And even on Roku, 
when you get the Roku channel, it's it's a, coming, Jason. I, I promise you, it's coming. There's a there's a there's a there's a, on the Roku store. Yeah. There's a section that says radio, internet radio mm -hmm. music. Yep. And they see SKL radio. People still go what? Oh, I know. I'm going to download the Zach. I know, yeah, man. It's exciting. Huh. Very, uh, exciting. It's very exciting. Very exciting. Did this guy to do no more, and I'm going to make it this policy. Don't mm -hmm. do, do no more than you can some Oh, oh yeah, right. it's, 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 it's it's every every decision we make is weighed out financially and what makes sense. I I am a big believer in it has to make business sense. Yes, you know I'm I'm, I'm a businessman. I mean I, I I first and foremost take the show aside. I'm a business guy, and I yeah. I think about how could what how, like anytime something's presented to us like. I've had some people present bands to me. I'm like, okay, um, they want me to promote these bands. Hey, I'm great. I'm I'm all for it. But how does it how does it benefit me? Right. And how can I benefit you? It's got to be a win win. And it's got to be you know, I, it, it's got to be a win win. I'm gonna tell you something. Mm -hmm. So do what then we go trouble because I, 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 if, you're, if, you're, if you're going to talk about payola, I know that's highly illegal. So, no, I would never charge yeah. anybody to play, for, play. That's the thing. That's illegal as hell. You can't charge for music. But, Jason, yeah, I've got, Jason, go. yeah, Jason, i got to run along to break, my friend. This is a great call today. Thank you very much. Okay. All right, buddy. All right. We'll talk to you next time. All right. All right. We're going to run along to our break, and we'll be right back on some kind of radio show. Hey, thanks for listening to the SKO Radio Network. We're online at skoradio.com and on the TuneIn app. If you have kids at home, this next segment is for you. This Friday, the newest batch of Disney Channel stars grown in the Disney Genetic Engineering Lab will be unveiled to the public. Right. Now, Tracy, most of our viewers are already familiar with a lot of the products that have come out of the Disney I know Lab. I am. Yes. But how exactly do you create a Hillary Duff or a Miley Cyrus from scratch? Right. Well, we're going to find out exactly how it's done right now because joining us live from the Disney Lab is uh, one of their lead geneticists, Dr. Andrew Rourke. Welcome, Dr. Rourke. There's quite an operation you've got going on out well, there. Thanks, Jim. So the stars that we see on TV are actually grown right here? Uh, that's correct. They're, they're grown and uh, developed here. We engineer their brains for advanced singing and dancing capabilities, even posing for photos. By the time they grow to desired size, uh, these child stars are fully ready for the camera or the, the concert uh, tours or whatever Disney chooses to put them in. That is simply amazing. <laughs> now, how long does it take to actually create a star from scratch? Well, not very long at all. We use the exact same DNA structure for all of our stars, and then we simply tweak minor details like uh, hair color or skin tone. Right, yeah, we do have some footage here of some of the uh, well-known creations that have come out of your lab. Let's take a look. Yes, well, that's model 6831-A, publicly known as Mitchell Musso, standard male base with oh, a type wow. 3 skin pigmentation. Wow. And that's model 6831-B. We give them slightly thicker eyebrows and type 5 skin. Well, so yeah. it's sort of like putting a puzzle together there. Exactly, exactly. Amazing. Okay, here we've got some of the images of some of the newest models. We're going to be seeing a lot of these kids it in the future. It really looks like you have someone for every kid in America right. to love well, that's here. that's the idea, Tracy. Our writers find it very liberating. Uh, for example, our new model, Haley, is a singing, dancing, snowboarding, half Japanese, half Indian wow. girl. Wow. Not finding her in reality would be impossible. Right, but sounds like a surefire hit to me. Oh, now this one's Zac Efron. I've seen him before. Oh. Yes, uh, Zac was actually one of our earliest models. My daughters love him. I mean, he looks so real. Actually, I think we could have done a better job with Zac. 
he could show more human tendencies. Uh, if, if you look closely, you'll notice there's a certain deadness around the eyes. I do see that, yeah. yes. I, I'm sorry, it's hard for me to watch because all I see is uh, all my mistakes. Well, yeah. oh, he seems flawless to me. Well, he's holding up, but there was a bug in that first batch, and as a result, Zach's skin will soon begin to dissolve. No, poor Zach Efron. All right, well, it's simply amazing. Dr. Rourke, thank you so much for coming in and spending some of your morning with us. I can't wait to see some of these Absolutely. new creations popping out of the lab. <laughs>Some kind of radio show. What kind of show? On some kind of radio show. What kind? It's what kind? Uh, it's, it's certainly been some kind of show tonight. What? That's for sure. Uh, I'm Tony the Comedy Killer. Of course, I'm on board. Uh, we're all in trouble now. 
Just kidding. I have to run it Wednesday and Sunday nights, too, so kind of used to it by now. Everybody, everybody's mics work, right? Yeah. Um, check, check, no. check, check, yep. check. Check, check, check. What about devs? What about devs? What about devs? Yeah. I can hear. Chuck, chuck, chuck. I hear you all, so saluting Family Feud. Earl uh, had to see a uh, man about a load of manure. Yeah. Yeah, a load of manure. That's right. dropping uh, the kids out of the pool. Yeah. Uh, nobody going to that wing of the building for a while. That meat mountain's preparing to make its uh, hasty exit. I think him and Dylan are holding hands. Yeah, it's 11.25 here on the East Coast. You know, it's weird. This is the first Friday that I've woke up for the show, uh, you know, to come in and do the show. uh, Because we, you know, the clocks went back last Saturday. Right. Mm -hmm. Waking up Friday, 6 o'clock, and it's pitch black outside. Mm -hmm. Yep. Like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, it's fucked up. And it's just like you wake up during a week, and I think I overslept. Yeah. I mean, you know, I've I've done my share of uh, done my share of that, so it's like I'm thank thankfully this far it's yeah Monday. Mo- what's gonna suck is I'm here all seven days next week. Uh, that know. fucking sucks. Dedicated, Deb. Dedicated. Dedicated. Yeah, but I got one, two, three, four, six of them are shows. Yeah. Oh. Well, you do your show Monday. Yep. Got another one on Tuesday. Uh-huh. And then, uh huh. Got one on Wednesday. Yep. And then I'm now officially part of the Comedic Renegades. Cool. With Elaine. I'm some kind of radio show if I decide to show up next week. Yeah. Um, and then I got to run the board on Sunday for some kind of kids show. Oh yeah, yeah. I keep forgetting about that one. Um, hey, no, don't be forgetting about the little munchkins. Mm-mm. Yeah, I mean it's like. Well, well they're we... not so little no more. Nope. We'll send out, I know it's a couple days late, but want to send a very happy 15th birthday out to one third of the Some Kind of Radio, Some Kind of Kids show. Alex just turned 15. Um, 15 years old. Holy shit. They get old. Are they going to be out is of the house soon? Is that my <laughs> twisted shit so I hear? So You're far? so quiet. I can't hear yeah, you. Is this the Wolfman? Now, 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 John, who the Mountaineers going to play tomorrow? Hey, uh. Tony, can you turn yeah, my is there a way headphones to turn up a little bit? John up. John's very, very soft right now. You're on too, right? Yeah. I mean, I can barely hear him too. Right. Now talk, Tony. Uh, John. Are you like a, a mile away from your phone? Oh, that's weird. Hmm. And is that Airwolf Adam? Yep. Um, Should be. It is. I got seven random questions for him. Or should we wait for the rest of the crew to get back? Yeah, we get, we'll give it a few more minutes for All everybody right. else to get back I mean, in they're here. they're shitting, so who knows? Yeah, because I'm trying to look at the calendar. Today's the ninth, right? See. So, so Veterans Day on Sunday, I'll be here, but I'll be No, just Veterans Day is Monday. It is not Sunday. Well, it is Monday. Well, we're obser- it's observed mon- Monday, but on Sundays, November 11th yeah. is always the same, is uh, Veterans Day, but of course, you know, we'll observe it on a... Uh, and Monday. we actually have one current, and we have four former military mm-hmm. on staff. Yep. Mm. And, uh, you know, Sunday night, it'll be just me and Jason doing the show. Sean's in Tennessee. So it'll be me and Jason doing, every, doing firearms, freedom, and facts. Oh, boy. So it won't be in Sean's, uh, you know, I, I love, love, love Sean to death, and he's like, we're, st- we're going to structure, boom. I'm like, buddy, you, we'll, do, we'll do whatever you want. I have no problem with it. I'm here to run the board, and I let them do. Yep. So and uh, and then let's see here, and then I'll be here the fourteenth, the sixteenth, uh, the eighteenth, and then let's see here. Uh, t- I'll be in Vegas uh, Thanksgiving afternoon through the twenty fourth, and then yeah, that's. I just want to get through November. I honestly want to get to March. Can I just go to sleep now? And wake up in about four months when the weather starts warming up oh, again. Okay, oh. Ruben Mingle. And then, well, no, I want to get to April, too. It's Fast and Furious 9's coming out. I know. I saw that. Are you a fan, Tom? <sighs> Have you not seen my uh, green car? No. All right. Who's no. echoing? No. Uh, I don't know. It's... Hello? Hello? Nope. I don't hear an echo. Maybe it's the uh, extra headset or something. I think it was, because as soon as you picked it up, it went away. Yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely... He, I, I'll, yeah, I'll show you my green car. I'll tell you what I'm excited for. In May, I will be in Vegas again for a week. And I'm echoing. 
I'm, I'm what hearing, the hell? I'm hearing from Earl that the phones are muted. Phones are muted. Okay. Damn, Tony. No, I'm not used to... I, I, I always leave the phone Jesus on mute. Jesus Christ, Tony. Tony? Have a good night, guys. Night, you night, like? night, okay. Hold on. Be right back. Up, 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 up. I'm used to... Uh, well, when I run my show on Wednesday and then when I, when I run Sunday, uh-huh. yeah, I'm getting echo. Yeah, I mean, I don't care. I hear echo all the time with my job. Yeah, so. That's how I know it'd be over. It's, it's like echo, echo, echo. Echo, 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 echo. Oh. No, if you'd see. Oh, oh hey. He is. Look who's back. Dilly, dilly. So. Oh. It's like we're echo, echo, echo. I'm like, huh? I'm not too concerned. No, I can't wait. Uh, I can't April, like uh, I, I put the picture up on Instagram. Hey, I put I put the picture up on Instagram because uh, I just seen the uh, was I think it's April nineteenth of next year as uh, Fast Nine comes out and there's one more after that. Okay, Tony. But no, what I was saying is uh, the NMA I will be in Vegas again for a week, mm-hmm. and then in July I will be in the lovely state of Florida. What do you mean doing I mean, in Florida, you know, Deb? Tony got Instagram. Are you leaving? Are you leaving? Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm gone. Yeah. Oh, we got 18. Oh, yeah. I got 18. I would otherwise, but yeah. What? Uh, hey, you gotta, you, you gotta, you gotta check with us, old Sergeant, uh, Sergeant Dillon there to. Okay. He's our, he's our dog sitter. Yeah. Well, we don't have dogs. So we have babies. And yeah. ferrets. No, we also have three fur babies. I know. So now we have five babies on top of my two. Oh, my God. And then, of course, uh, I figured Thursday is Thanksgiving. Yeah. Is it already? Two weeks from yesterday. Yeah, two oh weeks from God. yesterday. Yeah, because today is so nice. So, yeah. There literally is 40. Six days till Christmas. Day. So Damn, there's Dad. 52 days left in the year. 52 yep. days left in 2018. Yep. That's serious. Yeah, crazy. Crazy. And the, and the world didn't end for all the liberals that don't like Trump. I, I, I had to laugh at that. Yeah, yeah. There's like a blind prophet of Bolivia or something. She said that, that um, Barack Obama was going to be the last president that we had. So, maybe Trump will be a dictator. <laughs> you, you know, you, well, here's the really funny thing is after the whole midterm thing happened, mm-hmm. the real good laugh mm-hmm. is, you know, the Venezuelan chick, she wants, you know, social, socialism, yada, yada, yada. Okay. She got elected in New York. Oh, really? Yeah, to like a congressperson seat or something. Now she's complaining, well, I've got to move to D.C. and I can't afford it right now because she hasn't taken the job yet. Okay. And I'm like, mm, well, you have to do something. Well, you have to do something. Okay. Echo, echo, echo. I'm sure plenty of the constituents will be willing to pick the bill. Who is that? The wolf man? That is Errol Adam. That is Errol Adam. Oh, my. Errol. Oh, my. (laughs) Oh, my. Huh? How are things with North Dakota these days, Adam? Good. How are you doing? Uh, hanging in there. Gotta kind of stay warm. Dylan, uh, Tony, turn Dylan's At least you're not here. <laughs> He'd be struggling. I don't know warm. if your mic's on. Turn me on. There you go. No, no, of mine. Hey, Airwolf. Dylan's trying to yeah. say that yeah, the littlest one was just born. Yeah, I said, I, no, I she's a year old. I swear your littlest one yeah, she's a year old. old. Yeah. yeah, she's a year old now. Okay, good. All right, are you ready for seven random questions, yeah, what Adam? The hell? He, he thought of these on the shitter. As ready as I'm going to be. Okay. I have. Tiring. I get to ask the seven random. Oh, okay. Sit down, right. Dylan. Yeah, take a seat, the amateur. Come sit down. Sit your ass down, boy. Yes, ma'am. Tony, can you oh, please okay. shut the door? Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, Are you ready, yep. Adam? <clears throat> Hold on, Dub. You gotta do this right. Doom 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 doom. Out of my headphones for a second. Probably because they're not plugged in. I've also got seven questions. Hold on. What was that, Adam? I also have seven questions if somebody wants to answer them. Okay. All right, Adam. Your first question. 
Locks often served on a bagel is a fillet of brained what? Brained? What the fuck? Brined, sorry. Brained? Yeah, that brained. You mean brined? That's what I meant. <laughs> well, welcome okay. to Pompano oh, Beach. Oh my god, will you be quiet? What was that, Adam? I have no idea. Does anyone know the answer? <laughs> the lock of salmon. Salmon. Lock. Yep. I knew. Yep. It was salmon, Adam. All right. So, okay. number two on the hit show Seinfeld, what was Kramer's first name? I know this Cosmo. too. Yes. He's one for two. All right. Number three. The men's magazine GQ was formerly known by what longer name? Playgirl. <laughs> I know this one too. I'm going to guess that what GQ stands for is Gentleman's Quarterly. Yes, two for three. Gentleman's Quarterly? Is yes. Is that the answer? All right, just... number four. What fast food franchise has the most worldwide locations? McDonald's. Eh, Subway. Oh, eat fresh. <laughs> oh, my. He's two for four. Oh, my. All right, number five. Green Long, uh, not Green Long. G Long is a port city located in what country? What's the name of the city? G Log is a port city. G Log? Long. I thought you said Long. G L O N G. G Long. G Long. That's what I said. You said G Log. No, I've been saying G Long. It's not Pompano Beach. And that's not a country. <laughs> Pompano. Uh, I'm going to guess Australia. Correct. He is three for five. Okay. Number six. What was the name of Cowboy star Roy Rogers' Palomino horse, and what was the original name? The uh, name and the original name? Yep. There, there's the name of the horse, and he originally had another name. Uh, uh, trigger and... Uh, Got part of it right. Correct. He is Adam's four champion. for six. Well, All right. Bad. Now, Tony, Adam's you need to keep your lead. mouth shut because I know you know this one. All right. Number seven. The original Starbucks was established in 1971 in what United States city? Tony's oh, giddy shit. over there. He knows this one. Uh, if you don't get it, I'll take it. You know, there's one city that springs to mind that's like the, the purported uh, capital city of coffee as uh, Seattle. Ding, ding, ding! He got yeah. five out of seven. What was wow. the answer? Seattle, Seattle. Washington. Oh, that was easy. I knew that. He got seven out of... No, he, he got five he out, out of seven. Seven out of five. Good job. He seven got five out of, out of five. Seven. Five out of seven. Now, Adam, here's, here's the bonus question in Seattle. Do you remember where specifically where it was opened? They named them. Uh, their, they named their first blend of coffee after it. Mm-hmm. Uh oh. Uh, Pike Place. Ding 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 ding. Wow. He's six for seven. I my coffee. Yes. I love coffee. He got the bonus question, so he's six he out of seven. Huh? He's just saying he loves coffee. No. Coffee. coffee. Oh. You got cock on the she brain. She thought you I said did. cock, Adam. She's she's like he loves I must, cock. I must be wow. ovulating. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Alright, Adam and John are the two left to have to ask questions I haven't been asked any questions yet Who else asked it? Okay. And Earl yeah. I'll go last, that's fine I got uh, seven questions if somebody wants to Alright, I gotta take them Because John's take... got his specifically for Earl Okay Oh, okay um, uh... Uh-oh <laughs> Has anyone asked Sincelo yet? Yes Okay we're all getting turns tonight, Deb. Don't worry. Am I asking Deb? Yep. Yep. All right, let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. Okay, the first one is, uh, what river caught the attention of Time Magazine in the 1960s as being the, quote, river that oozes rather than flows? Oozes rather than flows. Oozes. River that oozes ah. rather than flows. Ooze. Uh, I'm going to have to say pass. You have to answer it. 
I have to answer? Yes. Yes, Um. You have to take a guess. Mississippi River? Uh, nope. No. Cuyahoga River. Cuyahoga River. You should have known that, Deb. Cleveland. I wouldn't have known that. River, 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 the, the, river the world. It's a river caught on fire. Question. You would have got it right. Yeah, it's the only river that's ever caught what fire. What was that, Adam? There, there was only other way that I could have worded that question, and anybody over there would have got it right. Except Deb. Uh-huh. All Deb, right. Deb suffers from a disease called cranial rectitis. Oh, shut up. Okay, next one. If an electric train is moving north at 100 miles an hour, and the wind is blowing out of the west at 10 miles an hour, which way does the smoke blow? Oh, my God. You got to Really? Can you repeat that, Adam? Because I can't hear over the music. I got it down to nothing. If an electric train is moving north at 100 miles an hour and the wind is blowing out of the west at 10 miles an hour, which way does the smoke blow? There is no smoke. That's correct. There you go. I was waiting for her to say east. No, I'm not that stupid. That would have been a Tony answer. No, that that would have been a you answer. No. All right, so I'm one for two. Go. Well, this was this was written not in anticipation of any, but either you or Earl answering this question. But if, here it goes anyway. Earl McCune is a known appreciator of fan films. Was he ever in one? That would be an affirmative. Yes. He was in Airwolf Adams film. He voiced an FBI pilot. That's right. Well, duh. What was the name of the film, Deb? No. Oh, wow. See, that's messed up. <laughs> that one I honestly did for... Hold on. Uh, do, no, we, re, we even saluted it, it on the show. It was... Air... <laughs> no, I know the name of it. It's on the tip of my tongue. I know it. You have half of it, right? Yeah. It's Airwolf. Uh, Redemption. There you go. Well, hey. Close. Redemptions, <laughs> but good try. I said Redemptions. No, you said Redemption. Same damn thing. Hey. Okay. <laughs> so I'm two out of three right now. You suck. I'm no, that's not doing better than Dylan. <laughs> Actually, that is the, you only got two. <laughs> Actually, everyone the, the the rankings are this. Dylan is in last place. Oh, All right. Man, Dylan. Next question. This is what question four? Wow. Is this question four, and you should get this one. If you don't, I'm going to be sad, but I'll give you a 10 buffer, plus or minus. What oh. is Tony's standing record for saying the word yeah on the air? Oh! <laughs> oh! 250. Oh, God, not even close. 472. Oh, <laughs> What? What was the question? Yeah. Tony, how, yeah. how many times did Tony no. say yeah on, on the show? No. Four, uh, during one show, 472 times during one program. Mm. We, 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 we did a counter that night. <laughs> All right, question five. I remember that, yep. I remember that, but I didn't realize it was that high. All right, question five. What is always coming but never arrives? What is always coming but never arrives? <laughs> Earl? <laughs> is that your answer, Dad? No. <laughs> okay, what is always coming when never arrives? My retirement. <laughs> yeah. That's what your TSP is for. Ha, ha, ha. Always coming but never arrives. That's a trick question. It's a riddle, so, Dad. What is always coming but never arrives? Dylan probably has it already. I got it. Hold what on. What is it, Dylan? Hold on. Oh, man. Ten Hold seconds on. on the clock. Come on, Dad. We only have so much time left in the program. I just keep I don't know. I the future. <gasps> Tomorrow. Tomorrow. The future. Oh, Same tomorrow. thing. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Have you, heard the, you ever heard the phrase, it, you see a sign at a bar that says free beer tomorrow? Yeah, it's always tomorrow. You know, Always yeah. free beer tomorrow. Yeah. All right. Next one. Question six. All right. What is my favorite song about Cleveland? Your favorite song about Cleveland? Mm-hmm. And why 
would I know this one? You're, it's, you're supposed to know these things. These are important things. These are important things. Um, the Cleveland maybe Rock three, song? Maybe three of you, they probably know what I, I feel like I know what it is. Is that your answer? Yes. No. The, 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 the Cleveland Universe. Tourism vi song? What is it, Adam? Never seen that. What? Adam. Which one? We didn't hear you. Oh, the on the, the Cleveland tourism song. Yeah. Oh, oh, like, oh yeah, yeah. You should. I remember Cleveland. that. Okay. Cleveland. All right. I need to get number seven right because I don't want to be tied with Dilda Beer. How many do I have right right yeah, now? She was Two. talking shit like yeah, she four was talking questions shit. ago. I know. She's talking shit four questions ago, but now she's still tied with Dylan. No pressure, Deb. Last question for you. No pressure. Some months have 31 days. Other, but how many have 28 days? They all do. <laughs> Your answer is correct. They all have 28 <laughs> days. Breaking up. What, what was your answer? They all have 28 days. That is correct. Yeah. Duh, I beat Dildebeer. <laughs> I beat Tippy Toe Thompson. Well, I still haven't gone yet. I could be. I could suck worse than any of you guys. So. Well, Adam's got six out of seven. So. Yeah, Adam's probably looking at the winner here, but. Uh, all right. Well, that's only because he got a bonus question. All right, John, lay it on me here. I'm ready. I'm as ready as I can get. Alright, alright. Here's my seventh question. Speaker. Number one so I can hear. is how many times or how many drinks did I have the night of John in John? Say what? How many drinks did John have the night that he did John in the John? The, the night that I did John in the John. Oh, I'd say uh, nine. Eh. Close. Eight. Eight. Okay, well, let's all right. Close. All right. All right. Number two. What is Deb's favorite line to you? For, Deb Go said, fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid fuck. You, you jackass. Eat my fuck. Nope. Eat my fuck. Actually, Deb was closer. Fuck you, Earl. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Damn, you ain't got one right yet. All right. All right, number three. And this is going to be a little bit more difficult, so I'll give you a little bit of a leeway on this one. All right. Um, us within, within 10. Within 10. Okay, maybe I'll even give you 20 on this one. All right. I'll try to give you 20 on this one. Okay. Within 20. How many runs did the Cleveland Indians score in 2018? Wow. Um, let's say... 568. Not even close. 819. Okay. Well, I didn't know. All right. Damn, you suck. Shut up, Deb. Listen talking shit. Yeah, I right. know. Now, now, this one you're going to have a little difficulty with. All right. How many companies have I ever worked for? <laughs> Four. Seven. Okay. I'm not doing too good here. Okay. You okay, should have get. You should have given him within a an amount on that one. Well, that's true. That's true. That's true. Sorry. Right. I'll give him a half point anyway. Oh, well, half, half a point. I get a half a point for trying. All right. Number five. This is a good. This is a good one. Okay. How many servicemen has Deb ever served? <laughs> None, oh you my fuck. God. <laughs> <clears throat> according to her, according to Deb, only one. But I'm you were never in the service. I was going to say it was her only service. No. I, according to Deb. I, I thought the answer was Debo myself. Yeah. According to Deb, one. Because because uh, that was what's his name, right? Who? What's his name? My ex fiance. Yeah. No. You said you serviced him. But he wasn't in the military you know, at the time. What's his cock? Yeah, what's no. his cock? No. John is correct. Zero. You lie. I am 100% up front. You're full Whatever. of shit. Earl, I've had sex with one guy and I'm married to him. 
Wow, what a sad what? life. <laughs> what a sad life. We've been married 15 years, and he's the only one I've ever been with. Bully for you. About four times. I, I believe that because, well, never mind. Yep, about four times. I am blind. And All right, number six. Not picky sometimes. All right, number six. I'll give you this one within plus or minus five. Okay. Oh, that's nice. How many perfect games have ever been pitched in Major League Baseball? Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Deb's Googling this. Are we talking? Are we talking perfect games or no hitters? Perfect games. Perfect games. <sighs> so are we talking modern era or are we talking all time? All time. Okay. Don't. Deb, you take all the fun out of this. You're taking all the he fun. He didn't see out it. Of it. I'm showing You're her. taking all the fun out of this, Deb. I saw it. I seen it. I'm going to say it's got to be under 20. Mm-mm. Over 20. It's got to be over 20. Oh, let's see. Mm-hmm. 30 some. You got you to think Major League Baseball has yeah. been around for 140 plus years. 140 plus years. Let's go 31. Too high. Eh, 23. <laughs> okay. But you were close. I, I almost got you to look in the ring. All right. All right, now number seven. I hope I've, 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 I've killed know. last place. I've got last place in the bag, guys, so I don't really care at this point. Okay. Okay, number seven. What is my shot of choice? Your shot of choice? Yes. Ooh. Do you like Fireball? You should know because I had this at the Windsor last time I was there with you. Oh, what did we have? What did we have last time? Well, with John, on any given day, it's his shot of choice. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Just depends on the day of the week. Uh, yeah, but I do, I, do have a, I do have a favorite. Did we do a Washington Apple? I think we did do one, but that's not my shot of choice. Oh, okay. I'll, 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 give, I'll give you a reprieve on that one. <laughs> you can give me a reprieve on that one. Uh, is it a type of whiskey? No. Okay. Not a whiskey. Is, I'll, I'll give you a clue. It is German. Oh, um. Jaeger. Exactly. Jaeger was yeah. just a little bit of Red Bull. Yep. He likes, he like, he likes Jaeger bombs. I'll, 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 I'll give him that one. All right. One and a half. I got one and a half. What the fuck? Good job, Earl. Yeah, Dylan's not last place. Ha. Huh. I do what I can to. I do what I can to help out. You still shitty. <laughs> you so shitty. I'm shitty. Who, I guess I'm shitty. <laughs> but at least I'm not a yeti. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Deb, we can tell the story about. Sash questions your... are cool. I figured, yeah, cause I, figured, I don't like them. Actually, I was going to. I don't go... shave my pits either, Deb, unless I get some <laughs> company coming over, okay? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fuck that shit. I, I was going with um, oh my, the my. you know she, she's a bumble you know <laughs> from the from the uh, bumble was friendly bumble's friendly because that's he gets his teeth <laughs> out but you got your teeth out and you're not friendly so. <laughs> we shouldn't throw the knife <laughs> oh my god unless you aim well. Yeah. I wonder if this would be sharp enough. Oh, yes, it would be sharp enough. Yeah. No. All so. right. Anyway. Well, I'll tell you what. This has been a fun show, guys. It really has. Uh, Up until about the last hour. Until about the last oh. hour. And you know, Deb burned it. Oh, oh, As oh, always. The life got sucked out of the room when you came in, Deb. I'm kidding. Deb, it's a joke. Earl's not. Earl's not. I'm not kidding. Earl's an asshole. Is Earl an asshole? Earl's an asshole. Earl's an asshole. Earl's an asshole. Asshole. He I'm wants to be a millionaire next week. Oh, yes. No, no, we're not be doing a millionaire that. every day. It's time to play Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> and we need some thoughts and prayers out there for Vanna White. She's not been doing too well lately. She's been a little under the weather. She hasn't had a vowel movement in weeks. 
Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah. at, le- at least it was a new joke. I will give him that. I will give him that. It, it was, was a new joke. Yeah. It, it, yeah. Um, yeah. In her 60s, I think. Because her and Sajak have been doing that show since... Yeah, maybe late 50s. I mean, she's had more plastic surgery than Kenny Rogers. And Pat Sajak, you know, I got, I got more of a sense of humor in my pinky toe than Pat Sajak has... Oh, you we, know, it's, we, we do have a last minute call here coming in. Let's take it. <coughs> You're on the air. Go ahead. We'll talk later. Hey, guys. Hi. It's the birthday girl, the sexy secretary of state. It's your birthday. Ooh. It's my birthday weekend. Ah, well, happy birthday, Victoria. I just kicked it off with a bang tonight. Oh, you got banged? Great. I'm I, jealous. I got the equivalent of a Broadway production bang. That sounds kind of boring. Went, <laughs> so you did oh, the entire cast of Cats? No, so she got the whole <laughs> song and dance. <laughs> me and my uh, me and my daughter took in um, the Broadway show um, Les Miserables at Playhouse Square. And uh. it was on the song. Oh, you went to a Browns game. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Oh, sorry, Cavs game. My bad. The Browns actually have a better record right now yeah. than the Cavs. Yeah. yeah. That's sad. Yeah, the Browns are in the Cavs. Is that sad? The, the, the Browns are the number two sports team in Northeast Ohio. Yeah. All I can say is if you haven't, if you're a fan of, like, musical plays, if you haven't seen it, seen it it's a must see. We have excellent seats for $15. Up in the balcony. It's a whole other world experience when you go watch it from the balcony. Let me just tell you, great. Great, 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 great. great. Oh, my God. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, you know, Abe Lincoln thought the same thing, too. <laughs> it was great from a balcony. and then. Welcome to the SKO Radio Network. You can find us online at skoradio.com. We're also on the TuneIn app where you can listen with your mobile devices on the Google Play and Apple Store. Find us on social media at facebook.com forward slash SKO Radio Network. You're tuned to the SKO Radio Network and online at skoradio.com. Stop on the tour. It's Cirque du Soleil on ice. Oh, oh neat. I told you I was about we to saw O. Oh. It's so harsh yourself, Billy. Yeah. That's the water one. Yeah, yeah. That one's pretty cool. Yeah, that sounds cool. That's cool. So, uh, I wanted to say hi, you guys, on my birthday weekend. Oh, well, we're, we, we'll, we'll wish you a happy birthday. And, uh, you know, I, I think that's a great way to play out the show tonight. We, we can play Victoria happy birthday soon. Yeah. Happy birthday Let's to it. you. No, no, no. Happy no, 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 no. Here, we'll, 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 play, we'll play a classic, you know. Yeah, you know, we're gonna we're gonna end the show on this note, guys. We're gonna end it right here. But Victoria, I want you to stay and listen to what's the song. This is for you. This is for happy birthday for you. Okay, <laughs> Victoria. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill our mics. We're gonna end the program, but we're gonna play this song out. So I want you to make sure you listen to the song, though. Okay, so we're we're gonna okay. so. We're going to end the show. We'll see everybody next week. Happy and uh, we're going to wish Victoria a happy birthday with this. I reckon my happy birthday. birthday. Not that. Happy birthday. Happy